one and only, the inimitable god of love and chunder, Mr. Randy Santel. Like your worst experiences at, at, at restaurants. I mean, I got the cops called on Mitch and I and, <laughs> and all these families down in San Antonio, and that's our number one video. I actually find eating contests usually to be gross. Because the food's usually, I mean, you know this. We'll, we'll get onto this later. I've got one of my own questions for you. We'll, we'll the get food's to usually sitting out forever. Yeah. And uh, it's not good. And then everybody cheats. So it's. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh. I can't wait to get onto this a little bit later on. Uh, everybody's we, we... cheating. <laughs> Is that in South Park? Yeah. Yeah, she's rubbing her. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, yeah. I knew I shouldn't have used that one. <laughs> Use that. And that's the sound bite to start this podcast. <laughs> And I'm Josh. And welcome back to the Break It Break podcast, where this week I am very, very excited because we have a special guest in the shape of the the one and only, the inimitable god of love and chunder, Mr. Randy Santel. I was, going, wait, I was waiting for what shape you were going to say. Yes, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm deep into a tour, so my shape's not what it will be eventually. That's what, To me, that's what 100% sex appeal looks like. I, I could only dream that. to look that much of a man. But um, yeah, Randy's on the show today. Uh, first of all, we should, before I ask Josh how, he, how he's been doing, I do that as like a customary thing. You know, you don't really care, but you ask him out of politeness. Randy, how have you been doing? How's the tour been treating you so far? How's it I been? filmed a video with Beard Meets Food yesterday, so I'm just still on cloud nine. Can I just say though, like I got a text off Adam yesterday. <laughs> and I can't remember what you put. Like you put something along the lines of "Sorry, mate," and then it was a picture of where you went to do this challenge, and it was like Randy's name's got more pull. I was like, "You motherfuckers!" And I thought, you know what? As a bit of banter, when Randy walks through the door, I might just give him some shit. And then I looked up and went, "Fuck! I'm not giving him any shit." <laughs> so I looked back down. This is what I re you can't tell any small person jokes today because you're the small person in the room, um, or as you, you are one of the smaller people in the room. But to give you some context about that story, we were supposed to do. Josh just wanted to do a team challenge for ages. We spoke about it last week on yeah, the podcast. Yeah, we did. Yeah, and we 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 were going to do this one in uh, uh, Todmorden, which is England's Britain's biggest pizza, right? It's Forty inches, if you recall because we ate it, you should recall it was yesterday. Um, <laughs> I, but I was going to do it with Josh, and I had messaged him a few times, and they were a bit like, eh, you know, we're not we're not really doing it right now. We They stopped doing it because of COVID, right? And they just didn't really start yeah. doing it again. And then I messaged him, I was like, oh, I've, I've got my... Because I wanted to do something with Randy, right? He was over, He's not over very often. And I was like, oh, I've got my mate Randy with me. They were like, oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, come down with you. We'll open up for you for nothing. So clearly Randy's name is going to too. Yeah, yeah they opened for us on a day hey, off. It's understandable though, isn't it? I sat around this table, what is the three and a half million subscribers on YouTube? I, admittedly, I'm not pulling my weight, but that's a lot of uh, that's what, a lot of subscribers. What's what's Randy at now? What, what you uh, actually, the reason I have this shirt on is because I've got one million YouTube and one million Facebook. Ah, you haven't got he's, that your shit house. He's, he's no. whooping me on YouTube, but I still got him <laughs> on Facebook. Yeah. But no, we're at what, like 1.45 on YouTube and then 1.7 on Facebook. That's legit. That that's crazy. 1.7 on Facebook. That's yeah. mad. But I knew you got like a lot of stuff. I've been doing it longer than you. Uh, I don't as think far that's as it, posting videos and oh, actually Facebook's kind of one of the things that got us to where we are. Just because I was we were posting normal videos. We were post we were taking our YouTube videos and putting them on Facebook back in 2015, which was before they were even monetized. So in 2018, when uh, Zuckerberg and Facebook started to monetize, we were one of the first like non- lad bible kind of like big conglomerate pages to actually get uh monetized so it's been good since then i say that but i mean breaking bread is now lad bible famous apparently somebody sent me a, a picture this morning that they were, they were it was some st bullshit story about me that they were running um but it mentioned the podcast in that they yeah, called so it breaking bad though didn't they yeah i don't know how much they fucked that up what was the story? I did, it was a story about me. I, I did. It was some fucking challenge I did about half a year ago. <laughs> like almost all the videos going up on my channel say, right now. I can't, wait to see this, I can't wait to see the pizza challenge next week on Randy's channel in you know, the 2024 nah, your Rand, challenge. Randy won't have it up that quick, man. That, but I don't know what people are talking about. But they, they, Rad, Lad Bible ran some story and they met, incidentally mentioned the podcast, but by the wrong name. So, you know, cheers. That's good. Uh, top class journalism. Um, well, Katina gets that all the time. She always, everybody always just calls her K Katrina. Yeah. And then You've got no, Katina and, in the house, by the way. Give us a shout up. Hey, how's it going? And then nobody. <laughs> nobody <laughs> you sound like the young kid from The Simpsons that you both <laughs> voice broke halfway. <laughs> how's it going? But like <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> this guy, eh? what a prick. <laughs> Facebook pages and stuff, when they, when they post stuff, they don't ever really give credit. No. So everybody just knows Katrina eats kilos, and how the hell do you find her on anything? It's yeah. Katina. 
I bet if you Google Katrina eats kilos, you'd find, I like. I appreciate the fact that's metric. That's my. I'm. I'm well impressed, right? Because yeah, I suppose Katrina eats pounds wouldn't have the same ring to it. But kilo, you know, kilo, Americans don't normally do metric, do they? So. Well, it used to be Katrina lifts kilos, and then it uh, once she transferred over to eating, Katrina eats kilos. Makes sense. So if you don't know of Katrina, I wanted to get her on, but Josh has got to go get his English teeth fixed. <laughs> so we won't, we may have to say that for a different time. But uh, yeah, because I'm a big fan of Katrina. And she's in the house. So she might shout up from time to time, interject to protect herself if Randy starts telling some <laughs> naughty stories. I, don't I know, treat her like a queen. I would never talk bad about her. <laughs> right, we got... Um, Ain't I, that I, right. <laughs> and she's looking down like... Yes, <laughs> Do we have a... Uh, I should ask you if you've been doing anything this... Oh, the YouTube comment, right? That's normally what we start with. Yeah, let's right? start with the YouTube comment. You don't care about what I've been up to this weekend, mate. I know you've been busy. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, first off, we actually... So we start off... As you, as you, I'm actually shocked to hear that you are actually a fan of the podcast. I thought... Yeah. I can't believe that. No, I I, I, he wants some dark and hairy, but we're... Like, no, we're going to get yeah. some... Oh, yeah, we should probably point that out. Those that are watching, you see Starbucks cups on the side. We recorded on Friday, was it? Last week, Something Thursday or Friday. That, yeah. And uh, the cafetiere that we used, I smashed it to pieces. Nah, Josh what? got really angry. He's like, this is fucking bullshit. We can't get guests. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what happened. I started making the coffee and then it cracked and just split everywhere. So there's, co there's coffee all over the studio. Uh, anyway, we start off every podcast with a YouTube comment. It's time for a YouTube comment from you. The one this week is from Greedy Beastie. What a name, eh? Nice name, that. A request for Randy. I know that Randy, uh, it says, I know that Randy is 5'10". Uh, could he stand next to Beard just to give us a perspective of how tall Adam really is? So he definitely that? isn't 5'10". 5'10"? No. I haven't been 5'10 since I was in like third or fourth grade. <laughs> how tall are you? 6'5". So the comment should have said I'm 195 six, centimetres. So 6'5", you're 5'10". Can you go stand at the end of the table? I mean, I probably, Brandy probably doesn't need to stand up. This is what, you'll get the... <laughs> I, I think my pose is most muscular. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. So you, that's a bit of... Uh, I hope somebody clips that. I hope Lad Bible takes that and runs with it. I hope nobody grab. thinks I'm 5'10". I haven't been 5'10 <laughs> forever. I, well, then you, that's, you, that's your height compared to somebody who is empirically proven to be 5 feet 10 inches. Maybe which is nine. which is normal sized, right? Right. Yeah. It's, it's efficiency. Yeah. That's why, like, if you're it, at a kid's primary school, it's about normal size. Did you did, did you listen to last week's podcast where we were talking about trying to buy a, a kid's meal on an airplane? Did I, I did not listen to that one, but I will say that my favorite episode has been the one with Mrs. Beard, uh, because Katina and I like had no idea what was going on when uh, she told, she revealed all, about how he didn't know how to open a damn dishwasher. <laughs> when, he, when he didn't know that you open up the cabinets or whatever to put the dishes in, the little drawers. They were talking about We looked at each other, we were like, what? <laughs> Is that a thing? They were talking about that in the car yesterday. It's not a thing, it's just that I'm that big of an idiot. I grew up in a working class household. My, we, 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 oh, here we, we go, it's we, right there. We, we were hand washing guy, yeah. everything. Wow, we, we, we grew up on the streets. Putting stuff through a mangle, you know, like we didn't have all the mod cons. Me and so. my sister were sharing shoes, like we grew up with nothing. Now look, look at him, him now. I know, yeah. Yeah. High flyer. <laughs> Hopefully uh, he doesn't forget about us. What, did he come in his first Tesla or his second Tesla today? Uh, actually, I've never I've never ridden in a Tesla before. No? It, was, it was a freaking spaceship, and it kind of made me want one. It was pretty neat. Was Adam driving on I'm hoping his... Katina gets it for me uh, for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, that's a nod there. Yeah, I thought he might have sent his... Series 3, I think it is. I thought he might have sent yeah. his uh, driver for you, because uh, it's just like he only jumps in the front seat for those little bits on camera, and then his driver takes over. The butler was, uh, no, he was, he was previously disposed. I, it was a short notice. <laughs> no, he did show us the thing where it drives itself. It's pretty neat. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's firmly in beta mode. People don't realize that. Like, you, I wouldn't leave it in self-drive too long. I, I fear crashing into... Well, yeah, you got to watch out for all the English drivers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, so we're going to run this back then. Should we obviously ask the, uh, the questions that need to be asked yeah. um, for the listeners that may not know who Randy is? Should we take it back to where it all started then, being the most famous eater on YouTube? Oh, I don't, how, know, how if do I can, I don't know if I can, you can claim you can that title. You can say, I, can, I remember seeing one of your videos, like, I don't know how many years ago, many, many years ago. And you were actually, I think it was in England, you were eating like a fish and chip challenge in like someone's back garden, it looked like. Uh, and I, honestly, I can't remember. I'll, I'll Google it. I'll, I'll find out which, one it, which video in particular it was. Fish and chips is actually the one thing I wish there were more of. There's, no, there's not enough fish and chips challenges. What, in the UK? Because yeah. I would love to do that freaking... Uh, actually, I don't... Is that still a challenge? That cod buster that you have, like, billions of views yeah, on? Yeah, that was the one I was telling you about in Misterton. I said it would be hard for you to get oh, to. Oh, okay. Because I want to... One of these days, and 
I just want to make fun of his thumbnails where I just sit there <laughs> and make the food big and just have that stupid looking face. <laughs> <laughs> you were doing that yesterday. I caught it on camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's freaking ridiculous. And just boom, the guy gets a million views in like a day. That's right. That's why his OnlyFans popped off. He can make stuff look bigger than it actually oh, is. Oh, no. I, I said this in the video yesterday. He can make a, a Big Mac look like it's a freaking seven-pound burger. <laughs> it's true. And then here I got... I, oh like no. I put They're a 26 on inch. I put a 26-inch pizza in front of me, and it looks like a personal one. Yeah, I had to tell him to get out the thumbnail yesterday. I was like, Randy, you're making this look like a normal pizza. This shit was 40 inches. <laughs> oh, man, right. So where did it all start for you, mate? Uh, back in 2010, that's when I did my very first challenge, but it all started with, did you guys ever watch the show Spartacus? I'm aware. I didn't watch, we didn't have it here, but it like, was I was, an ancient, I'm aware it was like of a it. gladiator show. Yeah. It was very similar to like Game of Thrones and the fact that it was just a lot of killing and sex, uh, about like the, gla <laughs> the gladiator days. But, uh, I did a men's health body transformation contest sponsored by men's health magazine and then Spartacus. And then it was like an eight week, just complete dedication to losing weight and um, the diet and everything that you need yeah. to do in order to cut that much weight. And I submitted my final photos. And then to celebrate the end of the diet, my buddy invited me. He had already previously lost a 28 inch pizza. Did you ever hear so many eaters have done it? It's the Pointosaurus. Yeah. In St. Louis, yeah. yeah. I've never done it by foot over here. It's hard for people to be able to do it now because so many eaters went and did it by themselves uh, to get the $500 check. So now they're, they're careful about who does it. But um, my buddy and I, we did that. He had previously lost with a partner, and then he knew I could eat. So to celebrate, him and I, the week after taking my final photos, uh, we did that challenge, and then we, we got the, it was like a 28, 11-pound pizza, 28 inch 11 pound pizza we got it for free we finished in like 48 minutes but that's one of those it was a weird challenge you have to sit there in the entire hour so whether you finish it in 10 minutes or 55 minutes you sit there the entire hour to make sure you don't throw up so we just kind of took our time and took 48 minutes and we got a check for 500 dollars. so every, sweet, isn't it? Every, everything just kind of went from there because i didn't really know about food challenges i never really got my start uh watching man versus food or anything like that but um, he's a fan of the podcast, by the way, Adam Richmond. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So big, yeah he, big... he he was until he got called an absolute nipple. <laughs> <laughs> he's a big fan. <laughs> but uh, actually, I I mean, because my first degree from university in 2008, uh, where I played college football as well, American football was construction management, and so I realized pretty quick that I didn't want to do construction my whole life. So I was kind of looking for a way out. And it just so happened that my cousin, who's very similar in age to me, he found out about how we were doing this pizza challenge together, my buddy and I. He said, if you idiots are going to do this, uh, I'm going to grab a video camera and just come make a, a dumb video of it. And so he came with me, which was great because I wasn't feeling good after the pizza, so he was able to drive home. But like two weeks later, he sent me this file, like 10 minutes of us, basically this okay edit it i mean better than i could have done at the time but it's funny watching it now yeah, yeah. 12 years later he sent me this video and i had nothing else to do with it other than make a youtube channel so i could put it on there and and show it off on my facebook to friends and family and stuff and i wanted to do another food challenge so like a month later i did an 18 inch uh, almost deep dish square pizza and over 120 people had lost that i was the first person to win in 53 minutes i got a check for 450 dollars but then I figured, hey, I videoed the first one. I might as well video the second yeah, one. Yeah. So I got on Craigslist and got like a $200 720p camcorder or something and filmed that. <laughs> and then sent the footage all to my cousin who did another video. And then everything just kind of went from there. That's, that's awesome, that, isn't it? I like that. Yeah, it's, it's, that's quite, it's kind of similar to the way I got started in, the, in that he didn't, you know, it was it, a lot of people think, oh, you watch Man vs. Food and then you just kind of started making videos. Like I had never really, I'd seen a couple of episodes, but like it was the same, you know, like hard, I found out about it after. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was like hard diet. Do, you do something because you love food to treat yourself, then you just kind of make videos for friends and family. That's how, that's how yeah, Katina got started, yeah. Yeah, same, same for a lot of people, isn't it? And obviously like the fitness side of it as well. So I was doing a bit of research, just trying to obviously not come in here like blind. And I saw the um, before and after from the men's health thing that you did. Can yeah. we overlay those, yeah, George? Just for, oh, yeah. For, yeah. Uh, I've got it on my phone just ready to show. What, you. A, hunk <laughs> of a, what a hunk <laughs> of a man, eh? Sexual because, Tyrannosaurus because everybody is like, oh, my gosh, that's not you. <laughs> well, I mean, I got like a, a seven-day tanning package, and yeah, I got yeah. all baby oiled up to look shiny and sexy and stuff. Stop it, Randy. And uh, it won. I mean, I got a, a trip to Auckland, New Zealand. It was like a 
twelve thousand dollar trip. Wow. Uh, we flew to Auckland, New Zealand. We were on the set of Spartacus. Uh, do you do you remember Lucy Lawless? Yeah. Yeah. She's Xena. Xena Warrior Princess. Yeah. Yeah, I got to sit on He's her lap young. and her uh, her servants fed me grapes. It was pretty neat. That's sick. But uh, yeah. on the last day on the set, I got in a gladiator outfit, had like a thong on. I was looking good. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it, it was a neat trip. But we were right over the ocean uh, in Auckland, New Zealand. It was pretty cool for like eight days. It was fun. That's amazing. Man. But then after I got back from that trip, I was just fully dedicated to the food challenges because it was like my kind of way out. Yeah. Uh, I always... Back in the day when I started, uh, everybody was into the eating contests. They only did food challenges for fun. Yeah. It was more of a training for the eating contest. I only ever cared about food challenges. I actually find eating contests usually to be gross. Because the food's usually, I mean, you know this. We'll, we'll get onto this. I've got one of my own questions for you. We'll, we'll the get food's usually sitting out forever. Yeah. And uh, it's not good. And then everybody cheats, so it's... Oh, let's go. Oh. I can't wait to get onto this a little bit later on. We, Everybody's we, cheating. We, we've talked about this before. We can, we can talk a little yeah, bit more yeah. about cheating, yeah. Well, yeah. just back when you, were, when you started then, were you still playing football at the time? No. I've no. got a question. What, what is an offensive lineman? An offensive lineman is uh, the guy that blocks for the right, running, yeah, the yeah, quarterbacks, yeah. The, the people that just aren't very fast. Because the, the big people that are fast, they play defense. Right. The big people that are slower... Uh, we just basically stand there and uh, <laughs> use like a brick wall. If, you, if you're running, you got to move forward, try to push the defense back. And if you're passing, you just get back and make sure nobody gets to the quarterback. I needed to ask that question. And I was six, five. So I was on the outside, the, the stocky, like bowling ball kind of people are usually the, so the, the short ones. Yeah. The yeah, shorter, yeah. the shorter, stockier. Uh, cause, uh, the defensive tackles are usually quite large and in charge and are scary. And especially in college, but the uh, <laughs> but also it's unfortunate for for being bigger because the defensive ends are on the defense and they're usually faster. Um, I know this probably doesn't mean a hell of a lot to you guys. <laughs> I, so, I, can, uh, I know I know a lot of my friends are in NFL, so I know. I thought you would know all about it. No, I know no, a no. little bit. I about played it. I played rugby before, like when I was younger. But I understand a little bit about rugby. I don't understand anything about rugby league, and I don't understand anything about cricket. Cricket is one of the weirdest <laughs> games to me ever. Yeah, I mean, I can't. The only thing worse to me than cricket is baseball. I got it's. I, I don't like watching baseball either. I, I, I don't yeah. watch baseball or golf. We tried to watch it in Vegas, and it was boring. Baseball, yeah, it's dull, man. The only good thing about I, when I did the that uh, Nathan's qualify the first year, I, I, that was at City Field, which is a baseball stadium. Yeah, and they had me up on like the they call it jumbotron or something, those big mm -hmm. screens, and that was the, I was like, oh, neat, you know, that was the only part I enjoyed. The rest <laughs> of it was really boring. St. Louis is actually uh, where I'm from, and yeah. they're they're getting a professional soccer team. So I, I'm excited. Professional football team. But uh, I'm, I'm excited to go to a game with the family. You wanted to come to one in, uh, go to one in England? You, you would, you would yeah, we, we really wanted to go to, while we were in Newcastle, uh, Manchester City came to Newcastle, and we were trying to get a ticket, but you apparently, get one. apparently you can't. Yeah. No chance at St. James's. We, yeah, Sunday we were ready to overpay, too, just because we wanted to have it's the experience, experience of going yeah. to a game. Yeah. I said you could have, maybe you would have shot like a championship game. But like in the PL, you're probably not going to well, get. Well, in the United States, I mean, whatever game you go to, there's always people. Hey, who needs tickets? Who needs tickets? Scalpers. I don't know what you guys call them. Yeah, here. And, and but it's so easy to get tickets at, at anything to, in the United don't States. Don't people go to the games just to sit in the car park and have barbecues as well? So yeah, tailgating, more, tailgating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What? A, what? A, like, mad, what it? a weird thing to do. Oh weird. no, uh, I I spent seven years in Kansas City. Yeah, the Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs have amazing tailgating. Because the Kansas City Chiefs Stadium is right next to the Royal Stadium, the baseball. And so there's like a square mile of parking lot where everybody just gets together like two or three hours before the games and just drink, barbecue, play uh, different games and stuff. <laughs> that would it's be a fucked. lot of fun. Imagine that in like English, like Premier League <laughs> culture. I mean, people be dying. Yeah, like yeah. Left, right, people center. getting stabbed. Be right, yeah, stuff, stabbed yeah. to be riots. Yeah. What, so do you like, so do they put the game on outside the stadium so you can watch it or do you have to bring your uh, own like TV? Actually... Uh, you're not really allowed to tailgate during the game. Everybody, they're they're trying to get everybody to go in the game, just because uh, there's a whole lot of potential for drinking and driving. So they, oh, yeah. they don't they don't really want you to be drinking. So what? So you tailgate game. before the game and then you go in and watch the game. Yep. Ah, yeah. Right. I, thought, I <laughs> hope, just thought hope that you sober up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Time to drive. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's hard to drink in the United States at games unless you've got money. I mean, uh, we go to more. Well, I mean, we don't go. We've been to one. A Milwaukee Bucks game in, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where we live. Two 16-ounce beers were $32. Oh, 
that's heavy, that, isn't it? That's just like drinking in. You get the stadium price in England, but like if you went to like an Arsenal game or Spurs game, um, Adam Richmond goes there, doesn't he? Fucking Spurs. Yeah. <laughs> um, you'd be paying that kind of money anyway. Okay. But um, yeah, I mean, that you, you so, you, so what you're saying is you've got to take your mate beard with you to buy the beers. Is that yes. it? Yeah. 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 Sugar, sugar daddy. daddy. Yeah, sugar, sugar daddy. daddy. Sugar yeah. daddy beard. He bought our, he bought our uh, coffees that are not they were dark and hairy right now. No, no. We, we, well, that's, that's yeah. Josh's fault. I've never had five guys. At this, one, yeah, I've never had just, five guys at one time. I was about to interject it was, and say, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was delicious. We, I got one of the creamiest joke. milkshakes I've had, yeah. I, they were blown away by the fact you could buy beer at five guys. I think Katina especially, you were like, well, you can buy, you can buy Corona here. <laughs> it's such a weird thing that America, you can't drink till you're 21. You know, like, but, you know, in some states in America, is this true that you can you Well, can it's drink weird what? that you guys can't drive till you're 18. True story, yeah. Well, it's 17, we, we, drive, we drive at 15, 50. 15 and a half. Yeah, but yeah. look at the fucking size of the place. Like, you, you've wild. got to. You, it's not yeah. like you can walk to the corner store, is it? You know. Sometimes I think about it when I'm over here. I don't know if I'd have a car because your guys' public transportation is amazing here. Other than, like, the small towns and villages. Have you been to Germany? That's, like, the that's outside a, that's looking. That's efficient. Yeah, that's the outside yeah. looking in, right? But I get where Randy's coming from because there is no there are no trains in America, right? Really, no. the commuter trains. I'm against Germany because when I was over there, it was really hot. Oh, right, okay. And, oh, my gosh. I had to change shirts before the trains to take it off at the end because yeah, yeah, I yeah. was so hot. I would be sweating and stuff. It was crazy. Are you, yesterday in the video, right? I dabbed Randy Downs a bit of a gag, right? Because he's sweating. <laughs> but then at the end, I was like, I need to wipe my beard. And I used the sweat rag. Like, oh, Jesus. Like, you know? COVID? What's COVID? That's long gone now, isn't it? <laughs> but no, actually, I will. I do want to give credit to England's trains. We, sometimes we have no idea where the hell we're going. And we ended up not, we end up not leaving in time. But your guys' stuff's always late, <laughs> especially the buses more so than the no, trains. You are dead right, though. Like the public, it's 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 certainly usable as a public transport. But in America, like it's so big that you, you obviously it makes sense that you would start driving at fifteen. Well, back during my uh, really really poor days of trying to get everything together, uh, I couldn't even afford a car, and so I used to use Greyhound and uh, yeah. and Megabus and and all that stuff and. Yes, everything's just so far out. Yeah. Everything's so far out. And then once you get to a city, there's no just walking everywhere. No. It's You need to, I mean, and plus too, when I started and when I was in college the first time, we didn't have Uber and all this, the easy apps and stuff that we have now. Kids nowadays. Oh, what? yeah. They don't know how easy they got. What? No, they're born. Yeah, yeah no, no. I, just, I zoned out for a bit. Then <laughs> I, we thought were about, good I thought you were good. No, no, to... I was just going to say like Mick Lynch, you know, the because tri- Randy's talking about trains. Just they're just coming off. Uh, you can't judge oh, them too harshly. Just coming off like a massive strike, right? Yeah, yeah, that's but, right. Um, well, and we like the trains too because I mean, when you're driving, you're driving. You're not doing anything else. But on the trains, we get to like she gets a lot of her editing done on the trains. Yeah. I do a lot of like my posting and my uh, event updates and stuff like that. Well, so you when can be we, productive. When we go on trains, Adam <laughs> argues with the train conductor. And just acts like a prick. And, Come off in my this, You know what I mean? Like this is this is Adam all over. Everyone, like it's it, short man syndrome. It's, it's not. Yeah, it's not yeah. people doing things to Adam. It's Adam doing things to the world. Who was, who was when you're traveling Josh, on an airplane? When you're traveling on a train? I get you commit to the joke. Who was in the wrong in that in that train scenario? Was it me or was it a train conductor? The train conductor that yeah. one time. So but the second up. time, I even put us in first class. I paid I paid twenty pounds extra. Put us in first class. He was sweating there because I was vlogging. Like we were on a, t- you know, we were on a, t- you know, you get the seats with the table. Yeah. You're talking about where Katina edits, and there's people sat across from you. I was, I didn't give a shit. So I'm just like, I've got my tra- mini tripod out. You know, when you saw in the car yesterday, and I've got the, the, and he's like sweating. He's like, oh my god, how do you have the, how do you no, have the I balls go, to do I that? Go, I put on my Insta- I put on my Instagram. And people were like, I can't believe he's done that because we were sat like, obviously the train. Table's probably like till there. So there's two ladies in front of us. There's me and Adam. Adam's vlogging, talking about shit in his pants. The, the carriage, the carriage is full of people looking over. And then you see like when he finishes recording, like, are you that guy off YouTube? <laughs> and yeah, that, lo- that little kid wanted a picture, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Rock and roll. Yeah. That, Wait, beard, that beard's easy to spot. Yeah. I mean, not in a crowd of people because you got to, he's like, <laughs> just, just blends in yeah, and yeah. there's heads over him. And it looks like some of his pubes that. are hanging out and they realize <laughs> it's his chin. <laughs> were, you, were you going somewhere with that or what? I don't know. We're going about it's kind, of, it's kind of like, uh, I mean, do you know Badlands Chugs? I, I, I know of him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's, there's only one. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. when he's in a crowd, it's, you know, it's him. Yeah. yeah. He, and the problem, I'm sure the same thing could be said about me, especially like, when I open up my mouth. A lot of people hear my voice and I'm like, oh my gosh. I, I love the accent of me. I think it's great. Or people will be like, are you that eater guy? And then I'll do this. 
And they're like, oh, Atlas. And I was like, oh, flex. Really do and I'm like, oh, Atlas. Oh, She's just nodding. <laughs> yeah, he does it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, one of the one of my favorite things about dating Katina is before our very first kiss, she asked me to turn my hat back. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh man, we should have got her in for that. That, was, that reaction was priceless. <laughs> I wish I had the camera pointed that way. Over to you, sir. Oh yeah, um, no, no, is, is that, that's the origin story. That's the Atlas origin story. Is this that? I feel like we need more. Like, you did, so you did like yes. two challenges? Oh, oh no, 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 no. I, I mean, I can keep going. It was, it was all, I kind of, like I said, everybody was all about eating contests. And so, and also too, when I started, how, when did you start? Uh, t- uh, 2015, I think 2015, like maybe like yeah. 2015 was the first one I ever did, which I didn't film. Um, so when I started, there was nothing online about how to get ready. Right. Yeah, like there yeah. was no, there was no foodchallenges.com. There was no, uh, training tips. There was nothing. And so I kind of always knew that the internet was going to keep on becoming a thing and that everybody cared about eating contests. I don't care about eating contests. So if I just stuck to food challenges, everything would eventually work out at some point. That's some that's yeah. like a business perspective. Like from, right? yeah, from yeah. Like as an entrepreneur to be able to have that foresight to think, right, this is, this is something. And I, I'm assuming you're making no money at this point. Obviously you made it 500, 500 bucks, 250 bucks for it on the, on the other ones. So well, no, yeah, I just, I just, let's see. Yeah. My very, let's see, wins three, four and five. It was on like a birthday weekend in 2010 uh, with some friends in the Omaha with uh, Nebraska area. And I videoed them, but I didn't know what the hell I was doing for editing. So I got on Craigslist and I found some girl. Uh, I know that sounds sketchy. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Single guy looking but, like a Spartan. But Let's I, go. <laughs> I, I was able to find a girl to edit each video for $15. Wow. And then, um, and then I thought about it. I'm like, wow, that's a great deal. But I plan on doing a lot of these. And I can't just pay $15 and here and there and eventually more because I knew that they were worth more than that. And uh, I taught myself how to do the first, I did the first 100 videos basically. And then uh, Magic Mitch Dombrowski in March, 2013, uh, I put out a request for help for editing because I don't like editing. He likes editing. That's, we, that's, we, ver- we differ very much on that. Katina loves editing too. I do not. Uh, if I had to edit all my videos, I think I would have quit by now. Yeah. So um, I hate it that much. Like painting a house. I don't want to do that either. <laughs> I don't want to do that part. This girl that charges fifteen dollars. Do you have a number? Because like every time I need a video doing, it's like five grand with this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck no, yeah. This, this was guy. this was many years ago. But um, and I mean they were they were worth fifteen dollars too. I knew that eventually to get more people to watch, I needed to do better. But um, but yeah, no, I just kept on going, and eventually I got the idea to. Uh, so many people freaking asked me for tips. Yeah. Uh, how did you do that? What do you do for fitness wise? Blah, blah, blah. Because back, back in that day, I was actually fit. Um, I wasn't doing as many food challenges because I was working uh, all five days a week uh, doing construction. My yeah. very first degree was construction management. But then I got the idea to create randysantel.com, which had like six pages on it, uh, just helping people with the basics of how to win before you begin, how to repair. And then eventually my buddy, um, uh, we've got a family friend uh, who actually started suretybonds.com uh, in the United States to sell surety bonds. It was like a, it was a big deal. And what that is, what is that? Why is that? Uh, surety bonds are, are like for construction loans and, right, and construction okay. projects and stuff like that. They're like big money things. So this was a big money thing that he was doing. He gave me the idea to buy foodchallenges.com, which was already bought at the time, but he had some pull and I didn't have any money. He was able to get foodchallenges.com for a thousand bucks, which actually I was thinking it would cost way more because that's a pretty good domain name. And so he bought it for me and then he sat on it for like a year. And finally he said, I'm ready to get rid of this. Do you have the money or or what can we do? And I said, well, I I don't have the money, but can I do it in like three payments? And I gave him the money and I think I paid like 1250 for it just to give him extra money for having it and saving it for me. But then I created foodchallenges.com and uh, what kind of got me all started, uh, in 2013, I had just gotten fired from another job. Uh, I'm not a very good employee, which, which makes me very, very good at all this. There was one year I had like seven W-2s. Uh, just, I'm not very What's good. What's the W-2? Oh, oh that's uh, basically I had seven different jobs. All oh, right. Okay. Uh, like uh, P45. Like, yeah, the yeah, W-2s yeah, yeah. are what you get 
from employers when you've been sacked for when well no it's for it shows how much they paid you yeah for yeah, tax yeah, purposes yeah. and stuff uh, so i had i had like seven of those one year which is not good <laughs> that's, that's not what you want to put on your work history but um i did roofing sales you guys don't have hail over here do you Hail, well, hail, hail storms, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. not like over there. No, no. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. I was a, st- I, I always kind of looked down upon it uh, for for years, but I, I don't really know why. I guess I didn't really know what was going on. But I became a storm chaser for like seven months. Like, get six, the fuck out of like Twister. Cool. No, 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 no. A, sto- <sighs> a storm chaser. Basically, behind every tragedy, there's a lot of people profiting. He's, he's following him going, you remember when that, like, the hailstone came down and smashed all your house to pieces? Do you want to buy a better roof? Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Behind, behind every tragedy, there's people profiting. That's yeah, just yeah. how the world works. So 60,000 homes in Omaha, Nebraska got hit, just pound it with hail. And so I joined up with a company. I had never done sales before, but uh, I moved up basically and just slept in a hotel for like seven months. Uh, with this company that was all that was helping me out, but I just sold roofs. I sold like forty five roofs, I think, and and I it, it was more money than I had ever made. I was hoping to make more, but I didn't know anything about sales at the time. <laughs> and so uh, I I mean, if I did it now, I'd, I'd make a lot more because I actually know a little bit more from books and stuff like that. But uh, I made like sixty seven thousand, I think it was, Shit. all in the all in the case of like seven months. And so I used all that money to fund the building of foodchallenges.com. And then also paid for Mitch and I's very first trip to England and the UK and yeah. Ireland. And then we also went to Belgium and the Netherlands uh, and France in 2013 to just create a lot more content for Mitch to edit. So when, when you were doing this, did obviously you were monetized. Were you monetized on YouTube at this point? So like you knew you could get no, income actually, back? We no, actually, didn't, we didn't really. That's the thing I took for freaking ever. Uh, to actually become sustainable. Yeah. So uh, I lived in Kansas City uh, while doing all these challenges from 2010 to 2013. And then I retired from construction in October of 2013, just because I knew that if it was going to work, I needed to go all in. And actually, I I mean, I'm very fortunate. Uh, One of the reasons I'm up here, or not not up here, but still doing it is because I have a a very loving, great family. Uh, So mom and dad, they let me move home uh, in order to just work in the basement. Yeah. I used to call it the international headquarters <laughs> uh, for foodchallenges.com was the basement. And so I would just work like, I don't know, like 12 hours a day yeah. of just getting the website up and, and getting the whole database figured out and get everything planned while this other team was doing all of the, uh, the development and stuff. And then I would also, of course, do food challenges that I would send to uh, Mitch and then in 2015, I uh, borrowed 4000 bucks from my mom and dad and did another big UK tour because I wanted to keep on. He wasn't doing it all by then, or I guess that was kind of his start. So, I mean, for years, I had the most food challenge wins in yeah. uh, the United Kingdom and Ireland and stuff like that. You probably still do, man. I don't, I don't keep track. He asked me yesterday, he said, how many, how many wins you got? I was like, don't, don't know, mate. I don't, I don't keep score. Well, you, you're I've, over a thousand now, right? Well, yeah, 1,114, but I know I have like 200. After this trip, I'll have 200 wins in the United Kingdom and Ireland. Wow. That's that's probably more than me. And then I've got like 45 in Australia, and then all the rest are in the United States. That's uh, impressive, that, isn't it? Yeah, mate, that's... That's not, it's like, you know, when you see, uh, this will be lost on you, Randy, this reference, but you know, when you see uh, the weekend, they were talking about, um, can Harry Kane surpass Alan Shearer as a Premier League's top scorer? It's a bit like that. Like I th- you, you can't. Like I feel like you can't catch Randy. Like he's done so many. Like I could do this till I'm seventy. And I don't think I'll get that many. Because you know? what's your upload schedule currently? Like two, three videos a week. We do two videos. Two a videos. Week. A week. But I, I've got thirty four waiting to be edited. Yeah, because didn't it used to be like three videos a week? Were you know, it used to yeah, be. Yeah. Well, it used to be four. Oh, uh, back back when I was single and uh, just reckless and and not the mature man that I am now dating Katina. <laughs> uh, we're we're a more slower paced. I mean. Uh, oh, the freaking first tour I did in 2013, if I kept on doing that stuff, I'd be dead. We were, we were going out. I, I liked to party oh, when, yeah? I, when I was younger. And so we would do like six food challenges a week and go out like five nights a week. <laughs> Fucking hellfire. It was, it was ridiculous. <laughs> it was ridiculous. I'd be dead, mate. Like I, I, a lot of respect that I have for, for, for Randy comes from the fact that like, I, I know he does these tours and he eats like, um, Maybe not necessarily every day, but sometimes every day. Certainly back in the in the day, I used to do every day, like mm-hmm. you say. Once I like I eat twice. Some I've done like three three 
three in three days or something like that. And like, I feel like I'm about to die. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like there's something wrong with me. So like, I mean, I don't, I don't know how you could do it. I'm just smashing some pints at the end of it as well. I know, man. Going again. I'd be, nah, I'd be done for, like you say, I feel terrible after like when we do a Nathan's after party and you know, we've eaten like 30 hot dogs yeah. and you go drink and I'm, I'm just like, I can't do, I can't do this. I, I've got, I've got a question for, for you, Randy, which I'm quite interested to hear. Um, in, you mentioned MLE, Major League Eating, which is like, you know, you, p- people know that maybe from, you know, St- Matt Stoney's videos and Joey Chestnut a little Well, bit. it's really just, uh, I mean, the one contest everybody knows about is the 4th of July that uh, everybody still thinks Kobayashi wins. <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> oh, that's that Japanese weird. guy. Whatever I get in a taxi <laughs> yeah. and like, people, what are you doing here? And I'll be like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm here for this contest. And be like, oh, the, guy, the, the one that the Japanese guy wins? I'm like... Yeah, like a decade ago. Twelve years ago, <laughs> yeah. Joey's been Joey's won like thirteen times now. Yeah, but the, what I was going to ask Randy is, have you ever been? T- I know you said you don't really like contests, so I kind of already know the answer. But have you ever been tempted at any point to think, hey, maybe I'd love to do a, a couple of contests here and there? Or no, I never have. No? Uh, well, contests, yes, but not with major league eating. No, uh, just because of that contract that uh, makes you. And I really don't even know that much about it. I just never really liked that many eating contests just because of all the cheating. Because I used to follow Furious Pete uh, <laughs> back back when he first started. And, like, he already had videos about how, like, Dale Boone and, and other eaters at the time were, like, cheating and hiding stuff in cups and stuff like that. And plus, it's not really that fun for me to compete against other people. I like just competing against myself yeah. and the, the food challenges and stuff like that is always just me against me. Um, and I also too, uh, just from a business point, um, I'm not a fan of, of trying to do stuff that I can't be one of the top at. Yeah. And I, and I knew from the very start that I, not only am I not ever going to be as good as Joey, as Joey Chestnut, I also don't want to go through all of the training that it takes to become that good. I didn't ever want to put my body through that. Yeah, I feel you on that. We've talked about it before, and we a little bit just uh, nobody wants to sit there and eat 15 pounds of fucking watermelon. You know, no. and just feel like you're going to shit yourself all day. <laughs> well, and then all the, the water chugging and, and all that stuff that goes into it is just crazy. And and also, too, there's not really any money in eating contests. Yeah, um, right. unless I mean, you're one of the, the, the best. Get, like, if you Joey, you make a bank, right? But everyone else isn't, right? Because well, a lot, <laughs> of, a lot of people, Joey makes a lot more than people think. Yeah, yeah, and, and I don't know anything about him, but I mean, yeah, he he wins ten he wins ten thousand for the the Nathan's eating contest, but there has to be more to it than that because he wouldn't be as dedicated as he is. Would, it, would there be like a sponsorship deal, oh, like be, an athlete? So like you know, stuff, yeah. like on TVs, like advertising things on television in America. Yeah, he's you know. got he's got his own range of sources now, right? I've never tried yeah. it. I, I would love to try Masters it. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, but um, Joey's on like his, his own special. He doesn't get the regular contract that the rest. Correct. Of the uh, yes. he's, yeah, he's not the one paying for his own airfare. Yeah, uh, so we're like, I only get flown out for like, you know, the big like Nathan's yeah. if I qualify, or like maybe if there's another big one like Poutine, maybe. Um, and Joey's flying private. Joe, Joey's like turning up in a limo. You He's know, getting some like girls off a, Craigslist with it with He's entourage <laughs> and stuff like that. <laughs> hey, that's where you used to go. No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's all right. Joey doesn't listen. I don't think, but um. Yeah, no, that's, that, that's interesting, but we, do you want to talk about cheating? But Well, I've also just, I don't like to downgrade MLE, but I mean, it's called Major League Eating, but it's not really a major organization. Oh, uh, yeah? Uh, I mean, the, and it's and it's their own fault. Uh, it's it's nothing to be upset or, or we're not talking crap on anybody. And why? And what, and Matt, what? Matt Stoney makes all of his money from the videos of the of the eating contest. Yeah, I mean, what does he get? A thousand bucks if he if he does well in an eating contest or something? Like the the purse and the prize money is uh, like nothing yeah. compared to like Katina's done two uh, contests, and I mean the the prizes total total are like three thousand, four thousand bucks and stuff. I mean, if they really wanted to be a major league eating organization, there would be a ton of uh, video work and social yeah. media and a whole bunch of other stuff. The social media is a joke. Right, yeah, yeah. And so, I mean, I'm not, I'm not cutting them down. That's how it is. Just, just getting a call from the, uh, <laughs> George Shea, president of Major League Unit. Oh, no, it's, a, it's, a, no <laughs> it's, it's never improved. Yeah, you know, I, I, I agree with Ron. They're, they're, they're no better now than when I started in 2010. That's wild, isn't it? Like with the evolution of technology and, and obviously all of the social yeah. media spaces. Football, I mean, hell, look how freaking cool darts is. I love watching darts. Yeah. But it's because of all the what goes into it and the hype that's built and stuff like that. There's no hype into any eaters. Yeah, uh, I yeah. mean, you might get like 10, 15 seconds of an introduction uh, on the 4th of July. But then, yeah, you follow them on that one day. But then there's, I mean, 
pre-COVID, there was 50 like contests a year. Nobody ever was able to watch those. They don't. They don't really video them or do anything. There's Bizarre, no that, isn't it? only a few. It's like, there's no major league eating channel that is actually viewable of the contests and stuff like that. Yeah, Randy makes a, an interesting. They comparison just post there. a thing on Twitter, and that's oh, congrats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, no, that is kind of sad because like darts is a good comparison because like that is ostensibly there's no more, there's no more skill and uh, or dedication in being really good at darts than there is at being really good at eating. I, I say that about all the time. You know, yeah. people ask me about is it a sport? I say, well, if darts a sport, then yeah. But I don't think either of sports. But um, there's no I revenue think, generating stuff. Yeah, they don't it, like the only, the only time you, get, you Nathan's is the Nathan's is what every contest should be really. You know, like it's a big deal. Every tons of people watch it. ESPN covers it, and I just think I think it's the fact that there's not that much appetite for it. If we're all honest, right? Not not that many people want to watch contests because well, they're Duncan's gross. gross. They're gross. Yeah, eating food like that's gross. But I think. They should, I mean, for me, Major League Eating should, hasn't, it's, it's kind of dying off and it's sad because like, it's fun. I think it's fun to watch for 10 minutes, you know, I watch yeah. it, but like Randy says, you can't, they put the poutine contest on, for example, which is a big one back in 2019. It was a video by a local station. So yeah. you could actually, they had the footage, they had cameras there, but like the, you should have been able to watch that, right? Yeah. If you're into eating, you should, but from, you from like a business standpoint as well, like if they're flying out people that, so you've, you've collectively built up your own audiences. You've got 2 million subscribers, you know, Joey's, got however many followers you know all these people that are coming on stage like you would think that they're going to capitalize on that by saying like we've, we've got exclusive rights to these pictures to show their fans what's going on mm. um so it is bizarre that they've not badlands too right badlands badlands got most well, subs yeah. on, he's got most subs on stage and he gets yeah. like to be fair he gets his own rap right and whatever and he's he's great value but i think it's odd that it's not a a bigger deal, but I, like I said, I, I'm I'm level-headed about it. I know it's like dying off. There's not that much of an appetite for it, especially in the current economic climate as well. So, mm -hmm. like, I think that kind of explains. It, but they, I think the the people that own it just it's a business to them, and they still operate the same way they did ten years ago. They're not really in tune with like how social media works now. Well, and a lot of people that are doing it, it's just a hobby for them as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so nobody's... that's you can't really. I mean, us, we we're not where we are subscribers-wise because. We had it as a side job. Yeah, 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 it was a side job while we were trying to make it a permanent job. Yeah, maybe you guys should uh, club together and buy it. <coughs> but like, uh, I mean, just take for no. example, like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're a Conor McGregor boy. Um, Not I anymore. Mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, you are. Can we get how, that? how many people? Come how, on, many, Josh. how many people watch even the weigh-ins? Yeah. I mean, they do. They do a weigh-in for Fourth uh, of July. Yeah, nobody. That's, could, that's no. not even videoed. It's not. It's not mandatory to appear there. So, like, you get the email every year. It's like, can you come to this weigh-in at the top of the Empire State Building? I'm like, nah, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah really. There's no. There's no. There's no hype. There's, yeah. Yeah. No, you did like, right. Yeah, you don't. That's just. It's. It's a horribly run media company. But, and, and I'm then, gonna, I'm gonna be in trouble. Here. And, you this casino. Oh, oh no, they can, they can contact me, and I will rip them a lot more than that. <laughs> but, um, but I'm not wrong. It, it'd be one thing if I was wrong, but yeah, I'm not absolutely. wrong. Um, I mean, people are people are are spending six hundred dollars on flights so that they have the opportunity to win four hundred. That's not a major league organization. That's pretty backwards, is that? Anyway, that, Josh. You, you retired. You <laughs> I was probably just retired. Yeah. Are, are, are you regretting asking me that question? And then, no, mate, this um, is all... I mean, Joey's retiring soon from what I've been reading online. He's not signed the contract, right? I know. That's why I'm sticking yeah. around. I'm thinking fucking uh, July, July 4th next uh, 2023 is going to be a free for all, man. Like I might actually try. I probably won't try, but like I might Wait, try. What are the questions? Adam, Adam's going to whoop Jeff Asper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's, I mean, he's right now, I mean, but there's no discredit to Joey, but I mean, Jeff's, for, Jeff's winning everything now. Yeah. But I mean, Joey doesn't have anything to prove or anything to anybody because he's dominated for a whole decade. Yeah. Yeah, true. I said, man, you might have to start practicing. I mean, if I won it, I don't know how he goes back every year. If I won that thing once, like, oh, yeah. you know, like Matt, like I, all the I would, training that, it, yeah, I'd, qu I'd quit. You know, like when, I've said this before, like when Eddie Hall won Strongman, whatever. Yeah. You win it and then you quit, right? Because it's 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 detrimental to your health. Yeah, you pull five hundred kilos and that's it. I'm out. Yeah, you're just done right after that. I mean, I, and you can't blame anyone for that. But um, the only people that keep on going crazy are uh, Mr. Olympia. Yeah, look at what's happened and to look those guys. Ronnie Coleman. Yeah, yeah, man, they're all crippled or dead. Yeah, that's a that's a wild sport to be in, though, isn't it? That's not a sport. It's a beauty pageant. But um, anyway, we'll, let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's move on. Oh, sorry, my katinas in the room. I mean, like when you did it, was uh, that's, uh, the the natural stuff is totally a sport. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, one thing Adam did ask about, <laughs> <laughs> he asked about the cheating, right? So what, like, yeah. what's the, what cheating is? So you say that like spitting stuff back into cups and shit like that? Well, uh, a lot of people will, and I don't say a lot of people, it's, I mean, because there's not that many eaters. 
let's just be honest, there's not that many people at, a, at the eating contest. There might be 12 people at a, at a local eating contest, and uh, nine of them are basically there because the, the sponsors asked, asked, begged people to do it. But then there'll be one or two or three people that travel. So, I mean, but we're talking, it's mostly the competitive ones. I mean, what, you just get a dark soda or whatever. And, uh, I mean, you can fit a couple. If you get big cups, you can fit a couple uh, hot dogs in there. Uh, it, and it's, I mean, what? You best don't float. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I just learned know this from watching Adam and what he does. Uh, I mean, you throw stuff under the table and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, there's some guy that said that to you. Or, uh, or, uh, or. Yeah. What? Or you just do a, a breakfast challenge in Whitby where you uh, <laughs> you leave like three handfuls of food that are just debris around the table and call it a win. Right. <laughs> I, I mean, you're going to give me a second, Clem and First of all, I, I, we're talking specifically about contests here, right? The, the Whitby thing, I was looking at the, the, the adjudicator for the win, right? If he tells me it's done, it's done, right? But I, I know I, I'll, I will, you know what? I'll, I'll concede that there was a little bit, there's maybe like an ounce of food left on the table, <gasps> mostly on Paul's side, right? A kilogram. Back in the um, Jared, let's get this on the screen. I'll see a picture. <laughs> but no, Randy makes a point about like uh, contests um, that it's, the, there are like, for example, a big one is, so he, he talks about uh, dark sodas, right? A lot of people take flavor changes on. So like uh, in, your, it's called Mio, wait, or Mayo. Mio, yeah. yeah. So we'd have like, you know, like a Robinson's, like yeah, a, a like, juicy fruit or yeah. whatever. You get like a dark berries one. And if you squeeze it into some water, right, the, then you could hide something in the cup. And that like, it, to me, like Emily, I've not seen anyone do it, but I'm, I'm a I table don't think it, I don't think it happens as much anymore. A lot of those people that were doing it when I was early on are out now. But now the big thing is, is it kind of depends on the contest you do. Because like corn on the cob or chicken wings or stuff like that, it really just kind of depends on how it's uh, weighed, how it's weighed. And because like corn on the cob, what counts as a finished ear? I mean, if you could eat 75% and move on to a next one and have somebody count that while somebody else is eating 100% of yeah. the ears of corn, it's, it's kind of, I mean, there's a little bit of politics involved with each one, just like a, a bodybuilding competition or anything like that. But I mean, man versus food, what we do is just us versus ourselves. And, yeah, yeah. and even the, sometimes the restaurants try to screw you in that too. So <laughs> Yeah, that's what well, we were talking about. A stitch up. Oh, yeah. it's a stitch up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> is that you doing me when I did the Hard Rock Cafe yeah. thing? Oh, it's a stitch up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it was... <laughs> <laughs> it, it, that was that one was a stitch. That up. was ridiculous. You must get that a lot though, because you. I actually wish that would happen to me, because I wouldn't even feel bad trying to like ruin them. Yeah, because you you, you post obviously you say we're going to be here, we're going to be here, we're going to be here. You you yeah. like a crowd, don't you? Whereas Adam, yeah. he goes under the radar and then posts it six months later. I hate lo I hate losing in front of people, but but I I don't mind losing. Yeah. If I lost, when I know the restaurant added in like a pound of extra food and. And I got within a half pound, and I would have won if they freaking made the challenge how the previous 100 people got it. Well, if that, like, that, I've lost challenges that, like, seven friends have won that, uh, not to toot my own horn, but I know that on a, on a given day I can probably beat them. Yeah. But then I've lost challenges that, like, seven people have won plus 30 random people. It's just something happened. I suppose like on, on that, that, that uh, sends us nicely into, um, I was going to ask about your, because uh, I know you're, you're uh, wholly willing to talk about this, Randy, you're, like your worst experiences at, at, at restaurants. Do you have any like that come to mind as like really big cons where they've set you up or like something terrible's happened? Or Well, it's our number one video, so I'm really happy. I, <laughs> I Actually, that's one of the funny things is if you look at my top five videos, one is me just venting and, and telling this unbiased story of the four <laughs> times that restaurants screwed me. And then, um, I mean, I got the cops called on Mitch and I and, <laughs> and all these families down in San Antonio. And that's our number one video. Shit, yeah. You know what? I've, I've seen the thumbnail for that and it makes me laugh, but I've never heard, I've never watched it. I feel bad saying that, but oh, um, no, I don't is, mind. What's, what is the, can you tell us the story behind that? Well, it, it's basically, uh, <laughs> what basically happened is that COVID happened and everybody started uploading videos and our channel started dying. So I'm like, okay, we got to, sh we got to shake things up. And so uh, back in 2000 and like 17, 18, something, I don't remember. But uh, I went down to San Antonio, Texas, and I called this restaurant 
uh, like three or four different times. Uh, I think two, two for sure, maybe three. Uh, I think I said two in the video, but I told them that I was coming. I was going to film the YouTube video and blah, 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 blah. And they were like, oh, great. Can't wait to have you. Blah, 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 blah. And then I, of course, put it on my schedule. Like seven or eight families along with some individuals came. And it, uh, it was a little bit of a busy time because there was a, a, they were featured on Man vs. Food. So, I mean, it's a pretty busy place. And they're known for like their three-pound cinnamon rolls and stuff. And this chicken fried steak challenge that went viral a couple different times. So I was really wanting to try it while in the area. And we got there and then they basically said we can't film. Which I had gotten clearance multiple times by different people. Uh, and, and he I, traveled all that way. And, and uh, this guy named Juan, I think. Juan Neves or something. Juan Neves, he's my buddy. You going to say something bad about him? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, he, he had just filmed himself doing the challenge like two weeks prior. Yeah, Juan's part of the MLE crew, right? Yeah, yeah, but he, 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 had, he had just filmed himself doing the challenge. So I'm like, what the hell's going on? And then, uh, so finally, they, they wouldn't budge. And uh, like the, the manager was like about to cry, like upset because... Uh, uh, I was trying to make sure it would happen, but then finally I conceded that, uh, okay, I'll, we'll just do the challenge and, and try to figure something out. And all these families came and I didn't want to disappoint them. And so, uh, and it was only, I only had 12 minutes to do it. So it wasn't going to like ruin my night. And so I conceded and we packed up all of our camcorders and stuff like that. And, and then we ordered and, and they said it was coming and then like 20 minutes went by and, and then a new manager came up. And uh, called me over and said that they're choosing not to serve us. And that uh, there's, I guess there was a risk of, of potentially somebody videoing the challenge or, or something like that and blah, 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 blah. And so that uh, they'd like us all to leave. And so there was one other burger challenge in Halotis, I think it was called, uh, which is a nearby city. And so I went to the parking lot to call that place to see if they'd let me come late and still do their burger challenge because then I would... It'd be a day of the week without a without a video. What the hell? Yeah, you can't have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to do my seven days a week. But uh, <laughs> but yeah. By the time I got back there, the police were in the parking lot to to make sure that all of uh, like all the families that were there left, along with Mitch and I. And then I was going to do it with another guy that had done a couple food challenges. But yeah, they made us all leave, and and then uh, I posted about it the next day or whatever. But then nothing happened out of it. No apologies or nothing. But then channel was dying and I needed to shake things up and Arthur was like let's do it and then we couldn't just do it on the one story so we needed to think of four three others at least have a a couple things so then I there was three others that I got screwed at on uh one in Kamloops Canada uh they added like two and a half pounds uh, to the sandwich that like seven people have beaten and then he actually told uh, one of my buddies that they added a whole bunch more food because he's a professional and you should be able to do it <laughs> And so, thankfully, they're shut down now. Um, <laughs> after that tweet, after these, that, after these, that video. These, yeah, oh, and then and then the the, the other the, the place they called the cops, they're shut down now too. I know so you motherfucker. You, I wanted to do that one. You don't mess well, they with Randy. Let me. Well, you know the thing is, and this this tells you how much loyalty there is in, in competitive eating. Uh, like, there's a restaurant in uh, Australia, and this is I respect all the Australians uh, because uh, they screwed me and another guy over. In Perth, Western Australia, nobody would go there anymore after they screwed me over. Uh, I'm not going sh to shout out any names or anything, but like after I got screwed over there, they decided to cut the whole video thing and they didn't want to deal with that again. And so like Wayne, I will say Wayne, Wayne, uh, screw Wayne. No. <laughs> <laughs> we, we both know Wayne. So it's Wayne, cool. be Wayne right. Jalapeno. Yeah. And then like four or five others all went there and did the challenge after me. So it just, everybody's out for themselves. And that's kind of why competitive eating is dying. There's, yeah. It's just a lot of, uh, I mean, you know, you know this about it. It's ego. Big ego. <laughs> All these ego people like Adam. <laughs> yeah. It is weird that the restaurants would choose to try and sabotage what they've built. I mean, like we've spoken about this before, aren't we? Obviously the, the, the challenge that you guys did yesterday, when we, you messaged what, must be three or four months back. Yeah. To say, can we come and take that challenge on? Do you, you obviously want to film some content. At that point, you had like 1.5 million subscribers and they said, they say no. And it's like, what an opportunity for somebody yeah. to bring a, like seven families and a massive audience to your restaurant. And yeah, I, gonna, I, I wasn't asking for any fees or any kind of payment. Or no, you're going to pay for, yeah, you're yeah. Gonna pay for your food. You're going to pay for your meal. You're going to bring all yeah. these eyes on. I That's, think it's, I, I kind of, under, I don't, I understand. I don't understand why, why, um, why places would make, 
the food challenge bigger. You know, people that does happen sometimes. Where, where I think whereby you know they're kind of a place protected that they don't want it to be beaten almost, which I find odd. Correct. Yeah. Um, I get uh, it. Maybe if there's a paycheck, I get it maybe, but like... You get those emails saying, oh, I've got a challenge, or, or yeah, we, yeah. we look forward to putting you on the wall of shame. Yeah, it's like, yeah. why the hell would I want to do the challenge? Yeah, if you know you're not going to get a fair shake, and I I, I, I don't like that, but I think I, I kind of understand why maybe people might be reluctant to do it if uh, it, I'll let you film if... Because there's, there's so much power that comes with it. You know, we talked about it before in the... I think that uh, they should really have an idea for what you'd like, right? So nobody really should not want me to come and film because even if the food is dog shit, I'm not going to say it's dog shit. Yeah. And even if people do bad stuff like that, I just laugh it off. I don't I don't want to make a, a, you know, a big drama about it. But I, so I understand why they might be reluctant to. But at the same time, there's a, a way of, you know, Randy's got what? How many videos you got on your channel, you reckon? Over a thousand. A thousand videos. So they should know, okay, this is a really great opportunity to do it. And why would I want to give this person, not give them a fair chance, right? But it happens so often. Um, I, I know, Randy, you, sometimes you'll go, right, and if it's if, if they've clearly taken the piss, you'll just be like, right, I'm not doing it. Yeah. Right? yeah and, and, and you can't, I, I, I totally get that because sometimes you, you turn up and, and they make it so, like the Hard Rock Cafe for me is the one that people always mention to me because the dude comes out with, uh, like a fucking colander of yeah. fries, five pounds of fries in it, not to mention the rest of it. How am I going to do that? And, what, and what's the point? It just makes you like, I got a message from Hard Rock Cafe apologizing about that. Just, oh, yeah. did you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. They said that we're really sorry about that. It shouldn't have come out like that. But And we do know that there's two winners of the challenge in this room <laughs> right now too. We've got Katina Eats Kilos, who actually finished it faster than me. I finished with like two seconds left because that cake is freaking hard to eat. It's, it comes the, out solid, the, right? The, bottom, the bottom two layers were like impossible to eat fast. Yeah, we, it, it happens, isn't it? And I, I, I kind of don't, I don't, I don't really get it. But um, it to, to me, it's probably like a, a regular day at work that you're going to turn up and it's going to be bigger. We just expect it, I think, now almost. Yeah, yeah, especially in the UK. We've done a couple yeah. food challenges. And, 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 and I, it's, one of the biggest examples was in Ireland, my very first challenge of the trip. Uh, they had this set challenge, and then they, they were just going to add like 10 eggs for me instead of six. And then I'm like, wait a second, are we we adding food? Because I already wasn't. We did like 11 days of hard drinking in a row. <laughs> and then I was about to do this challenge. It was like a 10, 10 to 20 Guinnesses a day kind of tour that I did with my family. And uh, oh, they were adding like all this food, and Katina and I are like, whoa, 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 whoa. We just want the normal challenge. It's already undefeated that nobody's beaten. Yeah. But um, one of the things that I've been, uh, I'm trying to be more empathetic for, and uh, we've had a couple cancellations, like scheduled events and stuff, is just all of the restaurants. I mean, I don't know of any restaurants that aren't dealing with it, but the staff shortages. Yeah. So if you if you watch all of our videos, every video, other than the ones where like yesterday there was nobody there, we have crowd shots showing off a lot of people there to watch, especially when Katina and I are doing events. We have a lot of people come. I mean, we have people come from hours around to watch and, and stuff like that. So some restaurants are actually, they want to do it, but they're scared that they can't handle all the people coming. So sometimes we have to actually calm them down and, and say that uh, we're, we're telling everybody about this rather late. It's probably not going to be that yeah. big of a crowd. You'll be able to handle it and everybody will understand because uh, there's also been some times where we have so many people at events that uh, we end up freaking starting way late because the kitchen is focused on trying to get to all of the 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 people ordering normal food yeah. that they freaking forget and can't handle uh, all of the resources it takes to cook the challenges. That makes sense. So we spoke about that we, before about like what pressure you, like you could put on a business. Uh, yeah, my, that's why people keep saying like. Uh, people often ask me, you know, when can I come and see you? And legitimately, I don't have a schedule. Like, you know this about me, Randy. Like, I yeah. tell you about a piece of thing. Yeah, we're very before. opposite. Yeah. yeah. But like, I, I, I couldn't handle it because it takes me so long to, you know, start shooting. And I yeah. would be worried about, I don't, I want it to, to me, it's like, my channel is not like Randy's in, in that we both eat, right? But mine's kind of like half vlog, half, the eating is really circumstantial. Yours is more geared towards YouTube. And yeah, I, yeah. I've, I've got an article on my, uh, my website about this, about how yours and Katina would be like this if it wasn't, uh. She does the events mostly because we're dating and we're on a tour together. But it would be more of her just filming herself at restaurants. But I, yeah, we we do big events and crowds and stuff, and and it's pretty much me hosting an event that gets videoed. Yeah. So it's it's a little different spin. I would love to do. What, like, I would have loved to come with you on like just not filmed. You know, just turned up and done like a, a food challenge at one of your events, and we both do it. That would have been a laugh. Now I think about it. 
Because it, then I don't have the stress of it. Well, is it still, it was, is it still it was, not time? You know, like, is, are you, are you, how long are you in Yorkshire for? Are you, are you for a little while? Uh, we'll be here a couple of days. We're off tonight. What do you want to do tonight? No. <laughs> I, I, well, I don't know. I'm not like you, man. You've we already done, done a pizza, challenge with me. you got to do one with Katina. Sounds like he likes yeah. it. It sounds I, like he likes a beer, man. You could go do a challenge, have a, a few beers. Just do drink me under the table, I'm telling you, man. Oh, like, I, I don't know about that. I was absolutely battered last time I went out. In fact, did I tell you about that? Um, I got a comment on, on the top of my YouTube videos, did I tell you? It was like a video of maybe couple of weeks back now because i'd gone out that friday night yeah, i told yeah. you with a couple of friends and i looked at my youtube comments the top comment had like a thousand likes was like the first line was i met this guy out drinking last night and i thought oh fucking hell i don't remember this like what have i done <laughs> luckily he said he said something like um this he's the warmest nicest bloke i've ever i've ever met this is a, it wasn't my burner account either it fucking um, and it's, it said uh but yeah I, I figured it out though you know why it was it's because i was drinking like hooch one of my mates just that he was like hey do you remember hooch and they still sell hooch apparently so i was fucking battered and i pay i apparently i bribed the barman like uh 20 quid to put on like a bunch of 1975 songs <laughs> so i just sat there pure jive and he must have come up halfway Mate, through we should take him to uh we were drinking hooch at the uh junkyard golf in Leeds, we should take a junkie at golf tonight. Yeah. What if you want to, you want to get your teeth fixed? Nah, that's all right. We'll get it done, and I'll, I'll come question. back and meet you. Do some beers this afternoon. Do they have Buckfast here? We probably. I don't know. I'm I not bet, really. I bet, a, I bet we can acquire some. Katina escaped Scotland without having any Buckfast. Yeah, you get some tenants while you're up there. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, and she had a uh, an official non messed up uh, four loco in Northern Ireland. They're illegal in the United States. They're legal. They're illegal here. I, I think she had one in but... Northern Ireland. It was like a full-on energy drink oh, with it was alcohol. Ireland. It was Ireland. Oh, it was Ireland. Yeah, it was Ireland. It wasn't the UK. They the built. The, it was in the Republic of Ireland, right? Yeah. Yeah. This, yeah. So, but yeah, that's why, right? And they, let's they, just they, they let's built. just say I uh, I've got a good. I, eventually, when she when she makes me mad, I'm going to put it up as a. It's like <laughs> it's like 55 seconds of me following her. Uh, playing pinball yeah. against the walls, going to our hotel room. I have permission off air to show them that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Permission granted there. Should we about to? I know the question will take us a while, but I wanted to ask. Um, well, there are two bits I'm going to do, right? But first one I want to ask you is: Could you, you reckon you could tell us your you, if you have one? I get this question a lot, but do you have a favorite food challenge you've ever done, like in the world, and a favorite food challenge in England or the UK? You could tell us is you, was your favorite food or for, for whatever reason was your favorite one. Yeah, uh, let's see. I've got a top ten uh, video. I've got one that's saying my most delicious challenges. It's it's like two years out of date, but then I've got one of my favorites. My favorites are mostly not based on the food. It's more based on the crowd. Yeah, but uh, if you had to like, pick like a, the yeah, type of yeah. food, right? so the fit, if you had to pick oh, one food challenge, food. so the f one food challenge specifically at one place that you had to do again. Just for the sake of it, forget the crowd and everything. Just for the food, so if, which one would you pick? You reckon? Uh, I remember having like, like uh, I can say wet dreams. <laughs> um, uh, my yeah. my my very first Parmo challenge was in Billingham. The fuck is it with you and Parmo, man? That's all you've been doing out here, Jesus. What's the Parmo? Is that I like did, fried I did, chicken? I did do three in a row, like that, yeah. but actually. Only because he's irritated me now, talking smack on my Parmos. <laughs> um, if I could do a challenge that, uh, and there really aren't that many, and the ones that there are are just stupid time limits or size or something, I could just make some love to just a good sexy kebab. Uh, this guy's really into Donna kebabs. I love so kebabs. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Kebabs are so good. Or euros. I mean, they all. Yeah, yeah. They all. Whatever spin you want to put on them, they're all. Delicious. I think there's a big difference between getting one out in Greece than getting one down Bradford Road in. Uh, euro. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Those are some nasty kebabs. But I mean, anything <laughs> cheesy. One of my favorite challenges is in Chicago. It's like an eight-pound grilled cheese sandwich challenge with like five layers of just goodness. Whoa, I mean, and there's like, nice. there's like chicken nuggets and stuff on it. It's, it's kind of a different challenge and it's a lot harder now than when I first did it. They had too many people come in. It's, it's hard. Uh, food challenges depend a lot on your geography. It's, it's, if you have a, you got to have a little bit of a bigger challenge in Chicago than you would in, in, uh, Millam, England or something yeah. like that. Uh, or and hell, all these challenges in like the middle of nowhere, England and Scotland and stuff. They've got all these like seven pound food challenges and six pound or any, even five pounds. I mean, hell, me, you and her are now. And then a couple of the other eaters are like the only people on the wall of fames. 
there's just there's not any random people like I just posted uh, and I do appreciate I've been taking some play some plays out of his book of just making up nonsense clickbaity titles to start off my YouTube videos. <laughs> hey, there's no there's no video on my channel called I called the police. So you could <laughs> you could fuck up with that shit. <laughs> no, but uh, the burger challenge we did in Waterford, Ireland, over six thousand people have tried. And so I I took a I took a a play out of his book and I I started it with over six thousand people have failed. Revolutions. That's, but that's, 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 that, that's that, not yeah. that's no, 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 a statement it, of fact. It, it is true. It is true. No. Six thousand. Yeah, I'm over, have to get yeah. across and do but, that one. But it's because it's only like four pounds of food, but, but a shorter time limit. Uh, it's right. these these shorter ones. These, I mean, you can have a little bit of like twenty five minute, thirty minute time limit. It's the smaller ones that people are willing to try. Yeah, most people don't look at these seven pound breakfasts with twelve slices of of unbuttered bread. Uh, wanting to try them. It's the small ones that like people will be on like a stag party or yeah. something like that and they'll order 12 of them like for everybody. Oh, let's all try this. It'll be fun. Yeah. So th those are the ones that get all of the, that's why I think the there's, attempts. That's why I think it's, for me, that North American stuff is, I enjoy them more, not because, you know, like the, the, the interaction you get and it's more fun because people are more into it. That's another question I was going to ask you. I'll get to it in a second. But there's more cadence, I think, with, you know, with American ones where that they, they kind of know, they, they seem to me to know a little bit more about what they're doing. So it's funny to me when people say, that's a normal meal in America. I'm like, no, most of the food challenges I've done in America are smaller than the English ones because we just kind of like copy you're trying it. trying to but uh, you, keep up with America. Yeah, yeah. you're trying to. So but like, you don't have the eaters to do them. Yeah, right. So there's, there's there are very few people in England. Like you'll go places and, and there'll be a, a four pound challenge like randy says that nobody's managed to do like the, the there's one that uh randy and katina are doing um is it the thursday the, greasy the, peg no no the songbird one. Oh yeah that's which, thursday yeah so that's like a that's a two-person challenge which is i i did it on my channel but i did it by myself not to be a, a show off right but it's just actually legitimately quite easy to do as somebody that's a big eater but there are teams that I think are 10. Well, it's or, like that pizza we did yesterday it wasn't the hardest challenge for either of us. Yeah, well, but, I mean, I get why that wasn't hard because of, we had two of us, right? But like, yeah. this is one that legitimately should be doable by, by two normal people, I think. But I think 12 teams or something have done it yeah. with two of them and failed. Um, so I think <clears> that's <throat> what they should be. I, to me, a food challenge should be something that, say, 5% of the population could do. So maybe 100 people attempt it, five can do it. Yeah. But a lot of them, especially over here, it's, it's mad to me that like they make them so, so big and it's, 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 it's sometimes I'm doing them. I'm like, this is, this is hard for me, you know? So like, no, yeah, we need to be able do. to do them in like half the time limit in order for the like normal people to yeah, have that's a more impressive, isn't it, which really? there's so many in the UK that I've finished in like the last 30 seconds. Yeah. So wow. it's like, it's like you're, you're, we're trying, we're over here trying to inspire more people to try food challenges. But then when I finished with 20 seconds to spare, somebody with a th over a thousand food challenge wins, the normal person doesn't watch. And you know what? I think I could do that. You still get do sometimes get those people though. You must get out when you're out. Yeah, about but the, all the they're time. also the same that eat breakfast and have a beer before they do it too. <laughs> they're not very bright. They don't <laughs> win before you begin, Adam. <laughs> That's that made it into the clip. <laughs> Randy sent me. I'm do, doing like a whole dream sequence before our video. Oh yeah, together, yeah. And that, that, no. that, that Randy's doing that in the background. No more spoilers. I took that advice though when we did the pancake challenge in London. You did well. I keep yeah. saying you did. Are they, uh, you guys are doing that right? Polo pancake thing. She wants to. Yeah. Katina's gonna do it. You'll enjoy that one. Uh, and if she, I haven't done any pancakes on this trip, so I'll probably do it too. Yeah, that's a good one. It's yeah. easy to do it together as well if you wanted to, because it's like they stack up, right? Like that. Yeah. If oh, Josh yeah. can get close, and I know Katina will do it, but Randy might struggle. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> see. <laughs> She's better with sweets than me sometimes. There's too much cream, like for a regular human to eat that. Like I, I she can't. likes cream. Oh man, it was. It was too much. She's good. Oh, Jesus. That was, oh, that was one of those jokes. Okay. Well, if, we're going, if we're going down this path, have you got any more questions? Or can I ask a question? I think I, I was going to ask a question, but I totally forgot what it was. But yeah, the Well, um, seeing as you've just lowered the tone slightly, can you... Um, I, keep, I kept getting these comments, right? So we, we put out that you were coming on the show. And people kept putting sexification, sexification. I'm thinking, what the fuck? Is this your only fans? So like, are you two like on hard times? You're going to have to start selling pictures of your feet. What is this sexification? Uh, sexification. Actually, I've been doing sexification since 2012. Yeah, uh, and it's it's it sounds rude. It's not right. It's, it's yeah. not rude. That you well, think it's actually, rude. I, you've got to be careful when you're doing it online, uh, because well, I typed in sexification uh, Randy, and uh, <laughs> you can only imagine what what came up. Well, uh, <laughs> if you have to check the YouTube um, captions. Yeah, because it, it puts sex vacation. 
uh, in, <laughs> instead of sex vacation. So I have to keep changing yeah, it to I mean, make like sure. I, I got sidetracked on my research. So <laughs> what it is. But no, my sex vacations are just my, my big diets. Yeah. It's where you transform from something average, below average to something divine. Ah, I love that. Yeah. Divine. And so there's going to be two more sex vacations. And the sex vacations are where I pretty much document uh, like everything that I'm doing. Because all of this is going to be transitioning eventually into me using my social media uh, as the number one followed dietitian in the world. Uh, I'm, I've done everything that I need to do to become a dietitian. Yeah. I just haven't taken the test. So it's one of those things where if you don't pass the test, you legally can't call yourself a dietitian. I just have to take the test and then I can do it. Yeah. But because I haven't taken the test, I'm not a dietitian. So I'm not a dietitian doing food challenges, which I understand the irony <laughs> and the uh, and the, the the complete opposite ends of the spectrum. But yeah, sex vacation is just uh, just where I take off from food challenges. I completely dedicate myself to being consistent with my weight loss, and and eventually I'm going to transform into the Atlas. Uh, Greek Titan that uh, Katina has been wanting to to meet for a long time. Yeah, Katina said yesterday she's she you've been on the promise of washboard abs for a while now, but she's looking forward to that. I well, don't know. But. Well, I, I saw. I think it must mean your twenty twenty sexification, and you. Oh, sure. So, oh, well. You, okay, we'll you keep was, going. You were because <laughs> I've done one, but it wasn't. Uh, all right. Well, it you, wasn't like my two thousand ten or two thousand twelve. So this one, you were sitting at three hundred ninety three pounds, which. For those that are listening or watching, is twenty eight stone or one hundred and seventy eight kilos? Is that right? Like a two, lot. like two of me. We think we did the maths on this yesterday. And three katinas, yeah. See, that's that's like you're a big man, and that's yeah. a lot of weight. So you on the video, you stepped on the scales outside the uh, the place yeah, in, in yeah. Vegas. Uh, heart attack grill. Heart attack yeah. grill. Yeah. And how much did you drop that time? Like, so you dropped out? Uh, in fit my, my, I've been pretty much just balls to the wall and, and trying to one up each one in my in. Uh, my, that's my best, but it was also my longest. So in 15 weeks, I lost 108 pounds. That's oh. fucking mental, that man. That's that is it's. I mean, it's good, but it's meant. That's crazy. I think. Yeah, it, and I, I never recommend that to anybody. Um, because, but also too, I lost the weight knowing that some of it was going to come back on. What's the most difficult part about the uh, extreme weight loss attempts? Like, is it actually, the, I don't find it difficult at all. No, no, it's all very easy to me, and it's actually fun for me. Because uh, I'm competitive with the, all the food challenges and I enjoy doing these. But during my sex vacations, I turn into a biking enthusiast. Yeah. And I love uh, the fact you keep saying sex vacation like it's normal. <laughs> like I would just say diet, but you keep Well, ahead. no, it's, I mean, you always say it with a laugh and a smile. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. like, I love oh, it. Do I do? Oh, oh, you know what? After this England trip, I'm going to go home and diet. That sounds really fun, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> After this trip, I'm going to go Good home point. and sexify. <laughs> oh, wow. That Tell me more, more fun, about yeah. this. Yes, yeah. Tell me about this sex vacation. Is the is is being in a, a calorie deficit difficult for you then after eating such? Actually, large no, amounts? and uh, and I'm sure Beard knows this too. Is when you go on these big trips and you do all these food challenges of all this very high fat, high sugar, high sodium, high everything, uh, you look forward to eating healthier. Yeah, and how much better you feel. That's what that is 100 percent true. It's like even even like for the people that can't relate to eating a lot. Uh, go on a cruise for a week and uh, drink all seven days in a row. And by the time you're done with that, you're ready for a freaking salad and a nice cleanse or something like that because of, of how much better you feel. Yeah, absolutely. So, no, it, it, it makes it kind of easy. I would say it's it's hard for like three days maybe while the stomach adapts to not expanding a lot anymore and uh, getting off all like the sugar and the saturated fats and stuff coming in. But uh Drinking a lot of water, you get all that sodium and water retention off. You just feel a lot better. And plus, like, you get more flexible and just everything's better. You sleep better. I mean, doing these food challenges, uh, I don't know. Do you guys have Garmin's over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you track your sleep at all? Yeah. Yeah, my sleep's awful, like, all the time. Oh, really? Just because I'm always filled with a freaking uh, five-pound food challenge in me, all my resources are dedicated to digesting the food and stuff, not towards replenishing and rejuvenating. Because you say the same thing, don't you? You're, like, you're, not, you're not a particularly good sleeper. Yeah, but I, I sleep I sleep better when I've eaten a lot, actually. I, oh, yeah? I sleep worse when I've... Uh, I'm just a bad sleeper, generally. I probably get five hours of sleep a night. But you do food neurotic. challenges earlier in the day. That, that's true. That's yeah, a yeah. big difference. Yeah, yeah. I, we do ours at night a lot so that people can be off work and come to our events. So, like, if I do a breakfast challenge, I've had all day for that to digest, so it's not big of a deal. Like, I slept great last night because we did the challenge for lunch. Yeah. And the, yeah, the uh, the beard shake I think probably helped with that. 
Yes. Yeah. I do, all the, the calcium. The worst, part, the worst part about that was the, I asked for him, like, I didn't go in and go, yo, give me three beer shakes. I just went in and I said, you know, I got, I just got us all the shake, right? Yeah. He's and such then, a humble man. Too. That's then, what I, I tried, like. I tried, I tried, I tried. But then the woman, she knew she was like, oh. Where did you go? Which one? The one at Kirkstall. Oh, right. Local, okay. Yeah, right? yours, yeah. But she was like, oh, I'm just realizing who we are now. She said that. It's, it's because one of the burger makers in the back told her, um, who, who we were, but um, I think she was blown away by the fact, like Randy came in with his uh, big fuck on voice, right? Uh, American, and he's like, hey, I, I've never eaten a Five Guys before. I am here I at am Five here. Guys. <laughs> so she, uh, but um, yeah, no. Um, he's a clown. <laughs> clip that, George. That's what we'll, we'll, we'll use that. Randy, call, Randy calls being a clown. We'll start some more fake actually, beef. Actually, um, you responded to this, because I know it was you. It w- wasn't him. But on Facebook yesterday, uh, on my video, oh, or yeah, whatever, yeah. somebody said, "I can't believe that uh, with his ego, he allowed you to be on his video." <laughs> and then, and then you said he's a twat or what is it, a toss pot or something? I, I, I like think that. I called you a prick. Yeah, oh, I, I, thought, a, yeah a, I thought, yeah, man, he's a right prick. He's a right <laughs> prick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, okay, that was definitely Josh. But <laughs> I, I don't. I mean, if if I, I would say I have a, probably a bigger ego than you do. Oh, thanks, man. Definitely clip that part. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't find you to be egotistical at all, or, or anything like that. I think that's the most difficult thing for you guys, is because you are recognisable and you're obviously you've got audiences. It's it's a tough uh, it's a tough gig in it being being notable in that sense because people are always going to pass comment regardless of actually knowing you as, as humans. Well, I, I, I was going to ask before we get onto the and this, uh, how long have been going, George? An hour and twenty three. Jesus, we back because we get back to the Instagram questions, right? Oh yeah. Um, but before that, I was going to ask real quick. How do you find it? Because I know, I know you, you must get it a lot because I get messages about just super negative messages about you. I don't know why people contact me and try and ingratiate themselves, themselves with me by saying, oh, you know, Randy looks like shit now or whatever. So well, I've watched, I've watched on your page, you've responded to some people. Oh, thank God you don't look like Randy or something like that. And then you, I appreciate that. You comment back to him. Like, what, what, what does this have to do with me or why? It fucking or- winds me up, man, when people say, like, it's not, a, it's, a, it's not a competition. You can, like, I would, I, I think people think that like, every year hates the next one when they, in reality they yeah. don't. And I think, like, it's, I, I always hate people being mean or cruel to people for, for some reason anyway, right? So I try to stick up for people. But what I was going to ask was, how do you, you must get some really terrible shit said to you, like, you know, on YouTube, in the comments or Facebook, especially because you saw your videos are so heavily watched on Facebook. Yeah. How do, how do you deal with that? Or how, what do you think about that? Does it affect you or? Well, we're the same in the fact that uh, I saw your, I think you did an Instagram story or something. Whenever, whenever you're on the news or whenever something gets more exposure than you're used to, everybody just comments, oh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, the, that's why America's fat. Or, I mean, I've had a couple of people uh, message me and say, get out of England and go back to America, you fat pig, or, or <laughs> something like that. I had that in Texas. Somebody told me to get out of fucking Texas. Remember? <laughs> just like, gladly, but mate. It's, uh, it's just a crazy world we live in. I will say that, because I've got a, uh, a guy that, um, I guess in the, in the, the gay community, I'm, I'm known as a, I'm a bear. I guess I'm a, I'm a bigger guy. All right, yeah. So uh, there, there's a whole uh, collection of people that follow me, and, and they actually message me. They say, quit dieting and get back to eating. You're so sexy when you're bigger. <laughs> like uh, like my th- this, to me. this guy follows uh, these Tumblr accounts, and I don't even really, I've never been on Tumblr, but uh, he screenshotted me. Uh, some guy made this, like, eight-photo, like, thing of, because uh, back when I used to tour with Mitch, uh, Mitch used to just get all these like uh, non, <laughs> not not my best shape uh, photos of me of like big or like hunched over or, or like this guy like screenshotted these things from my videos of uh, early on in the sexification and made this like collage of, of like these sexy, really heavy Randy pics. And it's just a very different world. But no, I don't really get that much hate. No. Uh, I mean, in, in plus two nowadays, uh, since I, I'm doing cameo, and because, uh, I mean, it's always, the, oh, there's all these starving people and you're out here eating more than enough for a village and stuff like that. Now I can take those and use them to my advantage. And, and people like people laugh or, or else they get mentally charged or provoked online when you post it or whatever. And then I can because uh, all 100 percent of my cameo goes towards uh, Meals on Wheels America program. And um, That's nice, isn't it? yeah, I was in one of those cameos yesterday. 
just yes. bonus oh, material. Did you see? I saw on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, yeah the guy was stoked. Yeah, so I was, I was really happy about that. Randy starts doing this cameo because he, you know, was, he was a little bit late. I think delivering it. But, um, I'm driving. <laughs> no, I, the was, car. I was almost late. Yeah. I was, yeah, sorry, almost late. And I was driving the car, and I, I thought, yeah, you, you, could, you get a bit of bonus beard meets food, and I thought, oh, shit, no, he might hate. He might be one of those guys that hates my videos. He might ruin your cameo, but you liked it. So there's not really a competition. I mean, I mean, there's people that talk shit behind backs and stuff, but like. I don't ever worry about, oh, he's watching Adam, so he's not going to watch mine. Yeah. I mean, usually the competition that we all have is watching UFC knockout videos and, and videos of cats climbing trees and, and dogs and stuff. I mean, it's a, it's an attention time. Yeah. There's people don't like, and I love when people say this was such a waste of time. Like you're on YouTube and Facebook watching nonsense videos. Yeah, man. this was free. How, how are you wasting your time? Yeah. I mean, if you weren't wasting your time watching my video, you'd be watching some, I don't know, whatever. I, de I decorated KSI's bedroom. Cool story, man. Cool <laughs> yes. Story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but no, there's no, I don't, I mean, like, and, and I mean, there was, and I don't feel bad saying about this because I talked about it in my video yesterday, but um, there was a time from like 2016 to 2018 where I forgot his name because uh, <laughs> between Mitch and I, he was just the bearded prick. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I got. I should get a t-shirt with that. That's what we call you in the office. Yeah, that's like but, um, and, and I say in the video too, it like, in, I don't know if it was 2018 or 19 or what, but uh I don't know if something changed or whatever, but I, I feel like you've matured and, and grown and blah, blah, blah. You're, you're not as into the banter and the shit talking and, and stuff like that. And you're, I, you're a different person than in 2016 when you were starting. I feel like I, I agree with that. I, I, but I think a lot of that a lot of that with me was kind of lost in translation as well. I, I think people have to know me quite well to know when I'm taking the piss. And like his, his video started out with smashing Randy Santel. And, <laughs> and, it, and it was did, up yeah. within like four hours of, of him... Uh, of doing the challenge with us. So Mitch and I are like, this guy's a prick. I was, <laughs> I was really excited to meet him and maybe have a beer after and stuff like that. And, and then he just leaves right away and, and goes to upload the video calling tragic bitch instead of magic bitch. <laughs> I thought it was quite funny though. The tragic bitch part. I don't think he took it out well. <laughs> well I mean, like... No, I don't think he was that happy about it, but no, <laughs> ever since like 2018, 2019, I've been following more, especially since dating Katina. Cause she's always, she was a fan of you before even me. That must've been hard when she you was, met and she Katina wanted, was like, she... Oh, the best channel on YouTube is beard meets food. And you were like, well, but then, you, <laughs> but then you were already with Lindsay. So then she went for number two. <laughs> yeah, and so she's 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 settling for me, and I'm okay with that because she's hot and and she's she's got a good channel going. So it uh, it's really fun to be able to travel with her all over, and she's into traveling. So we've got lots more upcoming. So it'll be fun. We're gonna do a, just to, to mix things up a little bit. We're gonna do a a British slang section, right? So I'm gonna t tell you. I'm gonna this is gonna be terrible. I'm gonna give you some uh, slang. I'm gonna try and keep them clean because I taught you gloit yesterday. And uh, I think you were quite shocked to hear the the real meaning of the word. Oh, God. I'm going to continue using it. Yeah, go, no, go ahead. I mean, everybody's going to be a toss pot for me. <laughs> toss toss pot's a, good. a toss pot. That's that's pretty. That's that's tame, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, tame. Toss pot. You could probably get away with that on Coronation Street. Or you guys been watching the, any of the soaps while you've been over here? Well, I knew about tosser. I just didn't never know about toss pot. <laughs> Have you been watching Co Coronation Street, Emmerdale Farm? No, EastEnders. Even the English no. people don't watch that. Man. We're just there. Dairy Girls fans. There we go. Is that the Irish thing? Yep. Yeah. Anyway, like, we, let's not get sidetracked on shit TV. Um, so I'm going to give you some, right? And you just, I'm not going to give you multiple choices. You just tell me roughly speaking what you think it as is. As long as I know that they're clean, that'll help me narrow down what it can be. That They're mostly clean, okay. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're going to start easy. If I say to you, that's a cock up, what, what, what do you think that means? Uh, it's more of a joke. It's a just a nonsense if joke. I, if I say I, I, we we cocked this podcast up, what do you think that means? Oh, you just messed it up. Yes, yeah, that's it just went terrible. Ding. Yeah. We have a ding, please, John. Yep. Yeah, bollocks, bollocks. Oh, I, one of my favorite things when I'm over here is oh, that's the dog's bollocks. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, that's two different things. Dog's bollocks is all oh, that's great, but bollocks is bullshit. But but, but you're wrong. Bollocks, bollocks, b o l l o c k s. Bollocks. Oh, bollocks, mate. Yeah. Well, it's an exp I suppose it's hard because, like, you might, you might, I might say to you, that's bollocks. Yeah, that's right, yeah. But the literal meaning of bollocks is your balls, your testicles. Okay. Yeah. So, like, if you ever want to say, yeah, I'm a bit hot, 
my, you know, my bollocks are sweating. That's that's like the, that's oh, the peak okay. of masculinity. But, uh, ma- mas- men oh, being hot bollocks. is like my bollocks are really hot. <laughs> what does a girl say? Suppose she say a vagina is hot. I don't know. <laughs> You probably wouldn't know. I mean, like um, it's flaps. moist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that's that, that's like the only rude one I've got in it. It's a bit later on though. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> what's that? Hoover? Oh, oh, actually, that's that's new to us uh, because we always just say vacuum. Yeah, but yeah, Hoover up the floor. Yeah, even it's, even with the Dyson or something. Oh, I gotta go Hoover up the floor. It's a weird one that, right? Because Hoover's actually a brand of vacuum yeah. cleaner. I've never really understood that. Yeah, ho- yeah, Hoover's vacuuming. I knew that one. Skive. So if I say Ooh. I'm skiving. I'm sk- I'm, I'm going to skive today. What, what do you know what that means? You're doing pretty well so far, Randy. I would definitely be lying. I'd have to make something up for that. Skiving using a sentence. No, oh, using a sentence. Oh man, um, I I just I, I couldn't be bothered. I skived today. Skived. I uh, just not really do anything. Yeah, I'll give you that yeah, one. Yeah. Just, yeah, sc- just relax a day is a cool, easy, relaxing day. It, you, it usually means like you, you kind of knock off work or like... Yeah, you know, not doing your responsibilities. Yeah. Yes, not it's, fulfilling, yeah. I'll okay. give you that one, yeah. yeah uh, you had a whole to-do list and you did none of it. Yeah, you skived yeah. off. You just skived off. So okay. like what I would, in a sense, that would be like, today Josh skived and didn't actually do any work because he's got this amazing team of people like George and Leanne and whatnot around <laughs> to do all the work. He just sat there, you know, like enjoying his mojito. Um <laughs> Next one, Kip. So this one, this is kind of difficult because it could be oh, a couple of things. But. Uh, uh, well, Kip is definitely a jackpot, at least in one sense of the word. Uh, you, I don't know that one. you win the Kip. Oh, no. that's. I've, okay. I've heard that before. That, all right. That, well, like like a like a food challenge. Like if uh, they'll they'll donate five bucks uh, for every loss or whatever, and whoever Kip. wins gets the Kip. Yeah. It's, well, that, I didn't, that wasn't what I was getting at. I'll use it in a sentence for you. I'm going for Kip. <laughs> couple beers no you got that one wrong you're doing well but you got that one wrong that's sleep so you if you, oh. like you, would, you guys would say nap I mean we, we say okay. nap as well but a like kip. I'm off for a kip you know go for a quick so that's I'm, not a, like, I'm not a kipper that's that's <laughs> that's a northern one didn't you didn't Katina say you were going to eat the kippers at the breakfast buffet the other day no, no mackerel Mac, let's say mackerel I had mackerel today that's how hard healthy call. fats I'm filled with omega threes. <laughs> <laughs> That's how hardcore Randy is. But he, he had the um, he had breakfast right before the pizza we did yesterday. A small breakfast, mostly healthy fruits, five to seven a day. Right, we'll, we'll do a couple more. Um, plunker, <sighs> Josh, you plunker. Kind of like a wanker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just means it, all-purpose idiot. Um, <laughs> Dipshit. Yeah. Uh, and I think... Do you guys use Egypt? I know in Ireland. Egypt. That's like yeah, Irish. Irish. Feckin', Irish. feckin' yeah. Egypt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is, that your, is, that, is that your best Irish accent? You feckin' Egypt. Oh, I've got Australian shoes on, so it always seems like I do an Australian accent when I try. That's what Katina suggested. You said, you said Katina, ev- Katina's a lot better at accents than me. Yeah. Oh, I think you're going to have to... Can you give us a British... Oh, blimey. It was better than Randy's. It still wasn't that great. <laughs> <laughs> Blime is actually on the list, but I'm going to come in with one rude one at the end, just because we were on topic earlier. Oh, uh, that's from a South Park episode about Oprah. Uh, <laughs> What's he do with his fingers? <laughs> <laughs> is that in South Park? Yeah. Yeah, she's rubbing her. <laughs> no, they, yeah. I knew I shouldn't have used that one. <laughs> Use that. One. That's the soundbite to start this podcast. Yeah, yeah. that's the fucking highlight there. Uh, we can do the questions real quick. Just yeah. let's do the questions. Right. So, can I go first? Can I ask the first question? Absolutely. So, I'll uh, work, shall I work from the bottom up and you work from the top? Yeah, down? but I'm actually going to use the bottom one. So, oh, no, okay, um, do that. are these rapid fire or are these? Nah. Well, the first okay. one is this. This is actually this wasn't it isn't actually for you. It's from uh, Bearded Pine. Who is oh, taller? Oh, you know what? I never said. What my favorite English food challenge was. Oh, you didn't. Was. Quick, do that one quick. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> I thought you had it in there's, mind. No, there's so many options. Uh, there's <laughs> some really, there's some ones that I'm really proud of winning. But yeah, the, the Parma was the, the first one that really just made me say, oh. But, he was, um, you know what? That's not the first time I've heard that noise. Yesterday, I've never met a more erotic eater <laughs> in my life. Like this guy's, this the whole time he's like, uh, uh. I'm thinking like, I was looking at Katina like, does he do this all the time? She's like, yeah, he, he makes that noise all the time. So. Uh, 
Anyway, should we? What was right, it? Yeah, so we, bit, Palmer, this, right? This, this question's from uh, Bearded Pine, right? Who is taller, Katina or Adam? So can you please stand at the edge of the table? Katina, get get on the show. Come on. We need to see this. Well, I, Katina's only five foot two. Well, I'm, we're going to prove my Wikipedia entry wrong here. Then. It says I'm 4'9". <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We go, do, do we have to do this like back to back? Like, George, can you see on that wide camera? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Look. Adam's got her whooped. Yeah. Get, off your, get off your tiptoes, you. <laughs> I'm so far yeah. now. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, Katia. Thank you for uh, for showing us there. Right, so that's from Bearded Pine. Um, right. Thank you, Bearded Pine. <laughs> so, right, next one. There's some some dodgy ones in here, right? The UK. This one's from Beardy Mac. There's a lot of beard, a lot of beard followers, isn't there? Uh, the UK has different accents. Have you had a, uh, trouble understanding any of them? Oh, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's been a lot of times, especially when people have had a beer or two in them. Uh, I've just got to look at him like a, like a deer in the headlights. I just give him a blank stare, especially uh, at all of our events. Katina and I sound, sign autographs for people. We take pictures around and some of the names that they give us. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Please help me spell that, especially in Ireland, all of the, like the Gaelic names and stuff. But um, yeah, Scotland, I had a couple, Katina's better at uh, understanding people than me, but uh, Northern Ireland, there were a couple people, Scotland, some people in England so far, but yeah. yeah. I mean, some people are easier, some people are tougher. Do we have a strong accent, do you think? No, I've understood everything you guys have said. Well, I mean, jo like Josh has got a thick one. Pretty th I mean, that's not... Still talking about <laughs> accent, yeah? <laughs> that too, I saw you in that hotel room. Uh, <laughs> it's blown away. But um, no, you, your, your accent is broader than mine, I think. Yeah, you sound but, a bit... People say you sound like a Geordie, you know? Yeah, I don't get that, man. I think I've just got this weird... I don't know. I don't All know right, you, like. you go for the next question. I, I was... I was Tempted to say this one, which is from uh, 8488 underscore Joe. Does it frustrate Randy that Beard is on another level to him? <laughs> uh, I, no, no, it would have in like 2016 to 18. But li like I said, I'm, I'm very happy to see you're successful. And, and, and also, too, I try to maintain self-awareness. Your videos are all about YouTube and for YouTube. Like I said earlier, my videos are of me doing an event yeah. It got videoed. So it's it's different. Like I have people telling me to shut up and eat all the time and uh, all this and that. And, and we have a pattern and, a, and everything with our videos. So your videos are more designed to to get the views. And with all the hard work you've put in, I'm, I'm happy to see you're successful. I, I don't have any. Actually, I'm very honored that you, because uh, I never asked. You wanted to do a video yesterday and I was really happy. Randy, you mate, you are the, I don't want to make this a loving, but to me, Randy's the, the greatest of all time. When people talk about it, like, the, we, most people that do uh, videos on YouTube, this is tr this is true, wouldn't be doing it if it were not for Randy. So like, to me, that's that's a big deal. So I knew- That's that, one of my favorite things is that uh, pretty much all of the eaters these days, they all got their start uh, using foodchallenges.com. Yeah. And, and, and of course, all the better eaters, they, they the, the goal of foodchallenges.com was never to create a Joey Chestnut. It was to- to give the people that don't know what they're doing a basic idea. That's what, yeah, foodchallenges.com is Randy's website. And that's what, like, if people ask me, like, how do I get started? First, I try and put them off and I'm like, don't, just enjoy your food. <laughs> and then if they're persistent, I'll be like, go to Randy's website. There's some safe, yeah, you know, um, tips for how to get Yeah, there. it doesn't teach you how to chug three liters, three gallons of water or anything like that. It's yeah, all yeah, safe for, stuff. For God's sake, don't do that. Um, are you doing one? Yeah, I'll go next. Uh, Darren. I, I didn't want that one actually answering. I was just doing it as a gag. But I reckon, anyway. <laughs> Darren Undersaw Coppin 87 said, uh, what are his top three movies seen as though uh, we spoke about that the other week? So Forrest Gump. Love Forrest Gump. Because you sound like him. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I like Shawshank Redemption. That was, in, that was my number one, right? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, that's right. one of my favorites. Oh, no, I've watched I'm that sorry. many times. And then the third is up for debate. I've got a lot of different videos that I love. Um, I mean, I, I love, I don't really know if I had to pick just one. But I mean, anything with Denzel Washington, uh, anything with Liam Neeson, uh, I love both of those guys. Uh, I, anything with Liam, because a lot of his, I love Liam Neeson, but a lot of his newer ones, I can't leave basically Ooh, you know what I'm character. pumped up? Sylvester Stallone, uh, the, the Samaritan. Oh, yeah. Have you seen the, the commercials? I've seen it. It's on Netflix, though, right? Or Prime, one of the two. Yeah, I think it's a Prime. Yeah. 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 Anything with Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, I get that. Because um, that's where my hat turn comes from. Yeah, over a, the top. A, a lot, yeah, a lot of people think it's from, like, Pokemon or something. But, yeah, it's from Over the Top. It's an arm wrestling movie. <laughs> arm wrestling classic. That was me doing the Stallone. A Stallone? Um, yeah. I'm not as good with Stallone as I am with Schwarzenegger. Um, this is a good one from Steel Bonsai, whose name I remember. I think he comments on a lot of my videos, I guess. Um 
uh, what would uh, you do as a career uh, if what you do now wasn't an option? And I suppose to make that interesting, maybe if the whole dietitian thing wasn't an option, if say that was off the cars, what do you think you would be doing? Well, I'd still be doing construction management. My yeah. very, I've got two degrees from university. Uh, the first one was in 2008 in construction management, and I did that from 2008 to 2013. And uh, if I really applied myself, I, I would do well. But it's just the construction industry and and what it's become. Everything's about legal now. Everything's legal. There's no nobody does anything out of a handshake or anything like that. It's everybody's just trying to get what's get whatever they can of the pie for themselves. Um, and that's yeah. So it's the way of the world. But, but yeah, but I, I would still do construction because that's what my degree was in. I think uh, unless Katina was making enough money that I could just stay at home. That was my original plan for Mrs. Bid, actually. You know, she like, has a really good job at the bank. Yeah. I would um, love to be an Instagram boyfriend. Totally, yeah. I could do that. I mean, I would, yeah. I'm not very Instagrammable. You know, I don't look that good, but um, I feel like that I would... Maybe that'll be a thing, though. You know, if people stop watching, I'll just be that guy that stays at home, and maybe then I'll give her that baby that she wants. I've got, <laughs> you know, I'll have to look after the baby. Uh, is it me or you? You could look after a baby. No, you're right. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah, I'm saying. Then, that right. kid would die. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think you'd be a good dad. I don't don't uh, lie on this podcast. Nice he would be a terrible dad. I got to get a ride home from him. So, uh, yeah. yeah, you'd be <laughs> a great dad. <laughs> right, so Rob Conway underscore. Uh, why this? Uh, I don't know if it's true or not, but why doesn't Randy monetize his content more, e.g. sponsored videos? He deserves the cheddar. So your channel's monetized, right? But you don't do sponsored videos. Uh, no, I haven't done a sponsored video in a very long time. And, and uh, Adam and I had to talk about this in the car yesterday. There's just not... I don't really like doing that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I already have enough talking and stuff uh, because every every video I do is mostly a commercial for the restaurant. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I put a lot of concern and care into to giving a, a positive image to the restaurant to, to commercialize, want, making people want to go there if they're in the area. Um, and plus, I don't really use a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like I did like four videos for uh, Dollar Shave Club because I when I used to shave more... Uh, and I still actually have razors from them because I don't shave that often. Uh, so I, I still use their products. Um, it's just not very, uh, and plus two, I can't, uh, with everything I want to do as a dietitian, yeah. uh, I, I don't, uh, promote any health and, and fitness supplements or anything like that. Cause a lot of them are unnecessary. Fucking right. With, with, a, with an, a lot, I mean, most. That's a fucking, almost all. That's a good answer. Yeah, that, so though, I, I don't want to, everything I've always done is long term minded. I don't ever look for short term money. Yeah, especially just, especially now that um, Katina and I are both doing very well. Yeah, that's integrity so, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to have integrity, and I don't like. I I used to get all these different messages of people wanting me to like do a a. a a phone a app game or something yeah. like that or Ra anything Ra like that. Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah, I actually don't promote like the watching of TV or playing games and stuff like that because most of the time you could be focusing your energies on something to improve yourself and your own life. And so I'm watching, you're, I'm yeah. watching YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah. you um, and also too, I sometimes I forget that that things are, are have ads. Yeah, because I've been YouTube Premium forever. I recommend YouTube Premium to any everybody. I mean, if you watch a significant amount of, uh, of videos and stuff, get it. And it's like yeah. you're like spending 14 bucks a, a, a month or whatever, but you're saving like tons of time yeah, not absolutely. having to deal with all that. I've got to do this next one. Um, kin I wasn't going to do this one, but Kindrex, have you, brackets like Adam, ever shit your pants after or during a challenge? Not during a challenge or anything like that. That's the difference. You see, that's the distance I am prepared to go yeah. to win. No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, I've lost one food challenge because of uh, I just really had to go. Yeah, but it wasn't worth like shitting your pants. Yeah, I know. I know some some like people that want to win that battle. They'll wear they call them in America depends, right? Yeah, where you wear they wear like uh. The thing that all that, that, that those things that old people wear, so that if they shit themselves, it, well, they my just sit in it and it's my cool. body kind of knows what's coming, what's, <laughs> what's going on. Uh, there's often times where I, I mean, my body will just get rid of it all right before a food challenge, <laughs> and like uh, the food will be ready to come out, and I'm like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Can you, that, you, ever, you ever shit your pants? I might. It's just me. No, it's just you. Fuck. <laughs> I suppose it makes me special. At least I thought I was. I thought it was maybe a more common thing. You go next. I've lost. I've lost what page you're on. Which one? I just. I've been sk skimming through for good questions. Oh, right, really. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
we, we had one from uh, Max versus Food who who said, "What are your plans for foodchallenges.com? But I think we probably have already covered that, right? Uh, no, not really. Uh, we, we did when during the break that we little had, but um, I don't really know what the plans are anymore uh, <laughs> because what I what I created foodchallenges.com for is is not anything that I have the resources or time or anything that I want to put into it uh, because um, I, I I love competitive I, I can't say I love competitive eating but I love food challenges and the sport that we're in but um, I don't see sunshine and rainbows in the future I hear I, I see a lot of uh, doom and gloom and spiraling downward so um that went dark really <laughs> yeah well no i i just don't think that what we're doing is going to keep growing like it's me you and a couple of people have youtube channels uh there's no new people starting it's so much harder to get a youtube channel started now than it was back when uh, when especially uh me and even you in 2015 i mean it's it's very hard now so, so once we're all done i don't know who's going to be up and coming so uh max versus food who I think did start a YouTube channel recently. Um, yeah, the sport's dying. Stop doing it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, if, joking, you, if, you, if you really have the, uh, I mean, people look for the short-term profits and, and gains now. So, um, I mean, they don't. There's not really a whole long-term uh, look for it. But if if you have the the will to enjoy the process and and just enjoy everything that you're doing, yeah, there's a future in it. Yeah. Um, but like, I mean, what's going to happen to MLE after Joey Chestnut leaves? Which is now, yeah, that's a house of cards. Yeah, I mean, now. who who's gonna watch, who's gonna watch uh, ESPN when the guy used to win was seventy five and now everybody's struggling to get fifty. Yeah, I do. So big shit house. I won't get to win there fifty, mate. I tell you, I tell you that for <laughs> and, nothing. And Joey's more of a, a big presence and stuff. You can't really have the leader of your organization being quiet and uh, fucking right as a presence. You seem like dispatch that bloke. Yeah, sure, get that dude yes. out. Yeah, yeah. Who he might as well do. He's got a future in MMA after that chill cold. <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't I don't know what's gonna happen with foodchallenges.com to answer that question. Uh, I plan on probably I I mean I guess I can invest some money into it, but I've never met anybody that I felt was a hard worker that saw a vision with it. So I don't I don't know what's gonna happen with it. Game so on. me? You'll go, Matt. Um I have to don't answer this one, but um this is just a funny one. Um who is your idol and why is it Mrs. Beard? <laughs> That's uh, Mrs. Beard like that. I don't know why. Um, I actually, I've never met Mrs. Beard and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Katina and I both are uh, either tonight or some sometime while we're here. Sometime in the uh, in, in the future. I want to I want to have a Yorkshire pudding with her <laughs> <laughs> and some garlic bread. I can't wait for this year's. Uh, so we can talk about how you were perving by the water cooler. Perving, uh, that's another one. Yeah. <laughs> perving, yeah. I love the word perving. Oh, see, I can't wait for a top from Just Eat this year. I see how many garlic bread she's nailed. Like last year, she ate, what, 900 quid? It was 900, 900 pounds worth of takeaway uh, garlic bread in a year. <laughs> that's so, fucking that's mental, not even a lie. That's just, that's just, think about, just think about the actual cost of the bread, though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, like 35 quid's worth and spent 900 on it. it. <laughs> this winter, that, that, that 900 pounds could get you like two weeks of electricity, so... You know, money will <laughs> money could be spent better elsewhere. Yeah. Right, this one's from Jamie O'Connor ninety six. That, that wasn't my fucking question. Oh, well, go on, like, go on. Uh, this one's if you if you had to, had to pick five people, dead or alive, for a dinner party, who would they be and why? Ooh. Five is a lot, man. All right, two two people yeah, for a dinner party. Two. Um, wow, I'm more of an on the surface guy. I'm not that big of a deep thinker. <laughs> um, they could be alive. They don't Kesha be, be in there? I just put some Kesha on for the... I destroyed my Spotify uh, I search freaking, history and put Kesha I would on have, for you. I would have loved, and I don't want to talk bad about him, but I would have loved to meet The Rock uh, prior to him uh, getting into politics. Is he but in politics? He, he was before the... Before the was he last the pres presidential election, oh. um, I would love to meet Lou Ferrigno. Yeah, yeah, nice. That's a good one. Um, that's probably a different one. Uh, he was one of my like bodybuilding people that I looked up to because he's six five as well. Yeah, uh, he was one of the first books I read. But um, let's see. I don't know. That's a really good question. I don't. I mean, a lot of people have different feelings about him, but um, I think it'd be fun to talk to Elon Musk for an hour. You have to talk to him, be great. Yeah. Like, yeah. We could get him on. <laughs> whether you whether you believe in what he's doing and all that, he's still got he knows a hell of a lot more than me. 
You're smart dude to Liam Neeson maybe you could have it. I reckon he'd be a great guest at a party you know Liam Neeson would be pretty cool yeah. I'm trying to think I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be I'm actually probably going to talk about this with Katina after that's a really good question I've never really thought about it you, are there any spring to mind for you Katina any people that you'd love to have apart from me obviously but like that you'd love to have at your, di- your house yeah, for dinner be a dead guest I would love to talk to Gilda Radner she was like the original cast member of Saturday Night Live uh, uh, we don't have that here so it's probably yeah, lost Gene Wilder's ex- or, uh, wife Ah, that's a good one, I guess. Um, that sounded really sarcastic. I didn't mean for it to sound sarcastic. She's like the pioneer of female comedy. Oh, right, okay. Well, there's See, not England, really. That's, Vic- yeah, that's Victoria Wood in England, I think. Pioneer of female comedy, you reckon? Uh, you would not, well, you would know that, you wouldn't know that is, but Victoria Wood, she, all right, maybe. One, no, of, one, of my main, one of my main goals with all that I'm doing is actually, believe it or not, to help people have a better understanding of nutrition and weight management. And I don't really feel that uh, enough is being done right now. If I if I did, if I did have a person I looked up to in that field, it would probably be that person just to just to hear there's, what their their views are. There's a dude in the UK called James Smith who seems to do a pretty good job at dispelling myths, I would say, in that realm, you know, of, I don't know if you've come across his work. Uh she's got a guy from the UK that she used to listen to that sounded like he was pretty good too. Uh, for nutrition? Yeah. Martin McDonald, yes. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Didn't he do the song yeah. I keep forgetting? Smart guy. Smart yeah, guy. Mike Nutrition. Yeah, because he does uh, nutrition courses as well, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah. Does. yeah, yeah. But the whole the whole field of dietetics is actually uh, run worse than MLE is. <laughs> so um, that's actually one thing. Yeah, there's everything that I'm doing in food challenges is eventually going to work towards uh, dietetics and everything that I'll use my social media for. Uh, just because that's one one of the things I'm sad. And I asked you about this yesterday of what your plans are after you do your last food challenge, how you can continue with your YouTube subscribers and my answer was death and all that. Yeah. I, ch- I choose death. I just, I just pack up and die. <laughs> I don't have any plans. Um, it's sad how many YouTube videos or channels just die once the, like Matt Stoney's is just dying because he doesn't do it. Can any we just pull the podcast? When you, when you retire at Christmas, can we just pull the podcast across? Yeah, sh- why do you keep saying <laughs> retire at Christmas? I'm getting to 10 year anniversary at least, which is two years from now. Oh, okay. Then. Um, yeah, I mean, I, th- I don't know if you could call Matt Stoney's channel dead. I mean, I think I'd, I'd well, love Well, I mean, uh, there's, he uh, doesn't uh, use it and post videos on it anymore. He, I thought you meant like the, like the dude still gets a million views in a day, doesn't he? Well, he, when he posts a video every four four months. We love Matt. In case Matt listens, I still, I, I, lo- I would love to do a, a video with Matt. It's like, that's my that's my bucket list before I go, right? I know he, would, he won't do it with me, right? And we did the, the contest thing, but like, I would love to just, ma- I, I, I'd pay for everything. I, I don't know why I'm saying this, he's not listening. But I love you, Matt. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh no, I don't, I don't have everything against them either. But like Furious Pete's or, or LAB yeah. still posts some videos. I love yeah, LAB. So, he's a fucking riot man. He's so doing. He's so quiet in real life. Have you ever? Have you ever I've never met him. Them? I've wanted to. I thought he was going to be a fucking head case, right? I thought he was going to come in and be like trying to ply me with pills or like weed <laughs> or whatever. But he's like, he's really, he's just like really kind of. <laughs> I, was not, I was not expecting that. I thought he was going to. I've like, always heard great things about him. Oh, he's a legend, man. Like some people you hear, oh, don't catch him on a bad day. But like I, you want to catch me on a bad day either, right? I've never heard a bad thing about LA Beast. And that's I, one of the things that Katina and I love is, is people always tell us, uh, not to toot our own horns, but we're exactly in real life like we are in our videos. Genuinely appreciative of everybody coming to our events and stuff like that. Yeah. We're not like anything different when the camera's off or anything yeah, yeah. like that. You know, like those uh, videos where they're hey, you know, flailing their limbs around and fucking 17 cuts a second and whatnot, <laughs> screaming. You're like, I wonder what they're like in real life. Probably really depressed. Uh, how, how is... Uh, how is Jesus. Uh, no, wait. wait uh, oh, this, this is quite a good one. We'll get this one out of the way. Where do you rank UK slash European food? They're really two different things. European food over American food in terms of like the quality and whatnot. Do you, do you prefer one Ooh. or the other? Or are they just I different? love Mediterranean. I love Asian. See, UK food is very different than European. Yeah, answer yeah, yeah. answer yeah. that as if, as if they didn't say the word European in there. I think that would be a more fun answer. UK versus American food. Well, the thing with food challenges is is all of them are like American based. Yeah. I mean, you're always going to get the burgers, steaks, sandwiches. I mean, really, the only English stuff over here is the breakfast and uh, fish and chips. Yeah. But then everybody fights over f- fish and chips. Oh, is it Irish? Is it British? Is it? And then uh, every breakfast you do, uh, you call it an English breakfast, and then there's going to be seven people saying, "Oh, that's not English. Uh, fries aren't an English breakfast, or I'll, or I'll do an Irish breakfast." Oh, blah, 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 blah. Um, I don't know. It's just. I mean, I love doing the food challenges over here because 
uh, there's so many food challenges with nobody to eat them. So it's kind of, uh, I mean, not to feed the ego. I mean, yeah, but it's it's just you. It's just Max versus food. It's just the couple others over here, Leah. Um, I mean, there's more eaters over in the USA, at least traveling, at least on the walls of fame. So it's, I mean, like I've done so many undefeated challenges over here that it will be good for videos. George, it sounds like there's an opening for me and you, mate. <laughs> Reckon we could take a have bit of a s- career change and start eating some scrub. Have you seen what George eats? <laughs> yeah. George uh, eats I'm like actually three on, I'm on the same page as Adam as I never recommend this to anybody. No. Uh, no, I, I go do food, go do a couple food challenges for fun and move on with your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, amen. Yeah. Unless you have something that you're really building towards, it's it's not worth it. It's the food. I think what people don't realize is Which the food. Which I do. So, I mean, I, I yeah, wouldn't yeah. change a thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing exactly what I want to do in life. I'll just show up. The, 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 uh, the food is kind of circumstantial, isn't it, really? Did you? Did somebody just push the brightness on this? No, I think so. Mm-hmm. No. Um, yeah, the food sucks. It's like, to me, it's all about love of entertaining people, which sounds really corny, but like that's the motivation, right? It's like the, it just happens that like the only real talent I have in life is that I can eat stuff. So like that's that's just kind of what it's, it, it's yeah, built that, around. The impact on your social life is massive. Like that's one yeah. thing that I think people underestimate is that, you know, like for Adam to eat like he does, he then can't eat on the day, other days. So you can't eat with Mrs. Beard and you can't go around to your families for dinner. Mm-hmm. Like that would be the biggest impact. Yeah, and all the working out and then like he goes days without eating. Yeah, Not days, yeah, like but a day a, without eating and stuff. Yeah, I, I literally do go a day without eating now when, I, when, I'm, when I'm overseas, you know. Yeah. But also too, it's 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 about all the stuff that you, you began never even seeing happening. I'm like, I get a lot of messages from from people thanking me because their their son or their daughter that's like two or three has a, a limit had a limited palate yeah and then uh, wouldn't eat much and they had weight problems and stuff but then they started watching our videos and and now they they throw a hat on them and turn it backwards and make them flex before they eat like randy and then they'll uh, cut meal times by like 45 minutes and they'll be eating that's more safe. and they're and they're doing better than ever it's like uh, stuff that you never would have thought that would have happened. It makes it more rewarding and fulfilling. And, and uh, I mean, all those negative comments saying, you fat pig, get out of England or whatever. Uh, for all those, there's just as many, if not more, positive uh, things just thanking you for something that you did that was never even intended. 100%, yeah. We got, we, I'm going to do a couple, a couple more and then box yeah. it off. Yeah, yeah. Don't know how long Is this going to be the longest podcast? No. Nah. Pr- probably. Uh, Mrs. Beard was quite a long one. That's what, that, we, did, we did our top 10 or top 15 music uh, oh, yeah, that choices. Went that went on for like three oh, hours. Okay. That's a good one, though, to be fair. Is it? All right, I've got one. Um, so this one's from Amina ZMA. I've probably butchered that name. Thanks uh, to everybody uh, that has sent in questions. Yeah, and this, there are so many more. Like we are just sort of selecting through them because we've got pages and pages. Um, what is one food from the UK you wish you could take home with you to America? So it doesn't necessarily have to be a food challenge or or like a, it could be a, a candy bar or like whatever, like an item. You know, what's the one thing you wish you could take back with you? I do love double deckers. Oh, uh, double yeah. deckers, but I'm not like a, a massive candy person. Um I love Parmos. I mean, we've talked about that. But What's a Parmo? Is this English? But, Parmo but, is like a, it's a fried chicken cutlet and they put cheese and bechamel sauce. But on yeah, top. but Ameri- Americans don't know anything about bechamel sauce. Bechamel sauce. So it's actually, like the actually, actually sauce. I think I would take bechamel yeah. sauce back. Um, like because sauce. We've, we've never had bechamel sauce in lasagna. Actually, that's kind of like the one thing I still want to try. How the fuck do you guys make lasagna then without bechamel sauce? People keep asking us that and we really don't know. I've never seen Palmer on a, on a that's menu. It's, it's that, only yeah. from Middlesbrough. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, it's a Middlesbrough, like Stockton, and, and within 30 miles from there. I'm going up to Jordan this weekend. So I, I, I did one in Billingham, and then uh, in like the like the day before doing the breakfast against him, so it was years ago, and I've been thinking about <laughs> in my dreams like ever since. So I did three yeah. uh, back to back to back, which I'm sure people are going to get tired of watching, but I don't care. I wanted to do them. <laughs> Yeah, you just do what's out there, right? They're not, they wouldn't have all been the same experience. But also, um, I would say that uh, people keep telling me I need to do a Sunday roast. I've never done a Sunday roast, so I think that would be fun. Yeah, they don't have any. That's the sad thing. There, there should be a Sunday roast challenge somewhere, right? But the, there isn't, I don't the think. The station was going to do a, a two-foot-long Yorkshire pudding for us, but I decided just to go for the Parmo because it was going to be my last one, and I wanted it. <laughs> I wanted the precious. Who, uh, this is, I'm just gonna ask this one because I'm, I'm actually curious who can deadlift more, Beard or Randy? I mean, I think I probably, well, you're shorter. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got a real advantage. Do I need to say Adam? Really? Oh, 
is terrible. <laughs> like your spine. <laughs> uh, you talking about me? What's he pulling? Like, what, <laughs> Katina, what's he pulling? How much? Oh, I haven't, I haven't deadlifted in years. Yeah, no, he, he couldn't even do like a bent over row without like me going, oh my God, you're back. <laughs> Oh, right. I didn't want to gang up on you, mate. I was just curious. Oh, no, 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 I thought no, you were going to just mind. destroy me. I thought well, you were gonna... I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like I could just what, what because I the got mo- the, the weight behind me. What about the most, what if you take our PRs, like our best ever deadlift? <sighs> I know I did 400 in college. Oh, that's bigger than mine. Like my, that, that 400 pounds, what was that in the What's kilos? That? My best squat was 565. 185. Uh, what was 565? That's massive. That was my best squat. And my best bench was 385. I, oh, never, I, I, I never hit the 400. <laughs> He's put his phone away. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, um, I think my, as far, I, I don't know about squats and deadlifts, but I mean, I'm still not the fittest I'll ever be. Uh, once I'm done with food challenges and, and actually in one spot, um, I'm going to get a lot of, very into cycling. And I'm, and I'm finally, I think, over the, uh, I was very tired of lifting yeah. uh, for a long time. I've, it's been a while since I've really been into lifting. So I think, I mean, my goal is by the time I'm 45 to win, uh, if my social media keeps growing, to be sexiest man of the year. So People Magazine. <laughs> I think like we should, like as YouTube people, we should be in that list. Well, not sexy maybe, but um, we should, we don't, it's not like it's the most. Well, no, they thing. do that because uh, that uh, Dobrik, what's his name? Dobrik got sexiest. Uh, David Dobrik. David Dobrik. Yeah, he was, he was, yeah, he's a big YouTuber. Um, he got sexiest, like not man of the year, but yeah. like an uh, honorable mention or something. How do they like determine that? Because I feel like if it was just... Oh, it's all politics. If, if it was just women, like I don't think I'm most women's cup of tea. Maybe I think I would appeal to a male audience more. Yeah. I'm not a, is there a thing that's not... A, I'm not a bear, but I, could I be like a wolf or maybe like a... <laughs> I don't know, like an aardvark. It's like, what, what's, what's an aardvark? What's a bear? What's, I don't know what that is. But, you know, like Randy's got me looked there. My, my best deadlift, I think, was 180. But that was at a body weight of 69 kilos, which is pretty good. That's, that's kilos, though, or 180 pounds. No, 100, 185, uh, no, 185 that's, that's like pounds. That's like 380. That's oh, like 380 wow. oh, pounds. Yeah. No, 185 what's, kilos. 185 kilos. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, All right. So that's a body weight of 69 kilos, which is decent. What's yours, babe? 295 pounds. 295 pounds? Okay. So that's like 140? Kilos? Uh, you should know, given that you're. Yeah, but she's only five foot two, so she's just not that strong. That's I was saying. Like a, like a yeah, three I inches that, to stand like, up. I, I, was, I weighed fifty two kilos when I did that. But, that's so impressive. Uh, that's beastly. Especially it must be for you because you def- deadlift what like 40, 40 kilos. You say, George, forty five <laughs> last week was his PR. <laughs> I was probably like, like one twenty last week. I was never kilos. really a deadlift person. I was more squats and um, bench. I think that yeah. When the, I, the day I can do 10 pull-ups, everybody's going to know it. I'm going to freaking... It'll be my first ever uh, video that I've posted of me doing anything. Oh, man. That should have been the question. I could do pull-ups all day long. Like, yeah, not me. Amounts. But that's because I waste I was, a little. I was telling some people the other day that I specialize in uh, American Ninja Warrior. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't really know what I was talking about. So they were like... It, it's kind of like me saying, oh, I'm a pole vaulter. <laughs> um, they didn't know. And then finally, Katina just was laughing so hard that they, that they knew I was, la- that I was joking. Sweet. Man, that were, that were epic. Thank you so Thanks much for coming on, Randy. Oh, no, I've been looking forward to this all day. So yeah, Randy was legitimately, t- he was legitimately telling me like stuff yesterday. He was like, I remember on that podcast and I'm like, no. So I was like, shit, this guy actually listens. And you know, Katina listens. I feel like we need to get nice. Katina, Katina, well. Katina, well, we Katina and I have listened on road done. trips. If you weren't getting your teeth, I felt terrible this I mean, morning. How, how like, long are you in Leeds for? How long are you in Leeds area for? Uh, we leave Friday morning for, for Grimsby. Let's try and make it happen. Let's We've got a lot of time here and we can yeah. adjust. I mean, other than our food challenges. What are you doing tomorrow before the, is tomorrow Wednesday? Wednesday, yeah. Oh, you're Nothing. doing the greasy pig thing on you yesterday. Well, I mean, well, it's, I'll, we'll but talk, it's, at, it's at three o'clock. I'll t- we'll, I'll tomorrow t- morning, let's go. Tomorrow morning, we can Heard do it here first. You game? Let's do it. That's it, we're on. Sweet. We're on. Two days in a row, George. Four, four days in a row of seeing Beard Meets Food. <laughs> this is such it'll a be, dream come true be because you're picking us up Thursday. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm taking a, I, I thought I would do a, because Randy was so kind in coming on my channel and, um, and stuff. Um, and Katina filmed a little bit for us yesterday, like in the back of the car. It's horribly exposed, but that's <laughs> I'm joking. It's fine, it's fine. But um, yeah, I thought I would uh, take him down to the 
Songbird Cafe. Yeah, that's what I recommend it, right? Because that is actually really it's, diff, it's very different. Where Katina, that, yeah, we're doing Ellen, we're doing oh, yeah. both of your afternoon teas. It's also because Ellen, I kind of want to move to the rural. Parts Are you going to do it? Are you going to do the challenge as well? No, I'm just no. I'm not, I just wanted to drop them off, and I'm going to watch. That's cool because I have to bring yeah. you back. I'm not going to like drop you off, drive away somewhere, sit in my car alone, and then come back. I know. I've already stay. started selling. I've already started selling tickets. Beard <laughs> meets food yeah, is yeah, going to yeah. be there. Kind of what you think too. People are aggressively friendly. Yeah. You might get a little overwhelmed. Oh no, we had a, I did a challenge up in Gisborough of uh, on Gisborough. Uh, yeah, Gisborough, it's near Middlesbrough. Like guy of Gisborough from uh from Robin Hood? It's near Scarborough. All oh, right, it's Scarborough. <laughs> that, that was one of the questions. How do you pronounce Scarborough? It's Scarborough, you nipple. <laughs> <laughs> but, but um but yeah, no, and I told everybody that uh, in the video, oh, my next video will be with Beard Meets Food. I had some people uh, asking very inquisitive uh uh, wondering where we were going to be because they wanted to meet, they wanted to see both of us at the meet same the little time. Guy. And I was like, I, I, I would tell you if I had the choice, but I have no idea where we're going. Adam hasn't really said, he's just said he's picking us up. Yeah. Because he said, for Christ's sake, Randy, don't tell anybody. <laughs> that, I, I, if, it was, if it was my choice, I would have live streamed yesterday too. But <laughs> you could have no, live streamed. I, mean, I wouldn't, we could have done that. But there's he's, no, he's Wi-Fi. Mr. Two Million, so it's whatever he says goes. <laughs> Billy Big Dick over there. Big Dick Blue Tick. Right. Well, no, I, I was talking about this uh, yesterday with them. He's actually got 2 million subscribers. Like, uh, we've got 1.45 million on YouTube or whatever, but. We just, that's over the last 12 years, we've enticed that many people to subscribe. Yeah. We don't have that many active followers. I mean, as Yeah, it's as, wild as his channel, isn't it? Yes. It's yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. wild. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was within two days, he's got like a million views. I mean, I... If I, if I get five, if I get four hundred views on our channel, think about how many Teslas you could buy without me. Oh, I know. No, Fuck but, me. But, but do the, the math. The thing the is, <laughs> the thing is, is so. And I was thinking about this morning that I've just I'm paying my dues. I'm buying my time. Uh, so Furious <laughs> Pete was was the man yeah. in the beginning. He was done. Stony took over. Stony's obviously not posting many videos. He's the man right now. He's the man. There's nobody else that can really fall in. And so by the time he's got a couple of years left, he's going down to maybe one video a week or whatever. But um, Exclusive. he's got he's doing his thing. And so in the meantime, I'm going to keep on doing all these tours and challenges that I want to do. But then eventually, once I see him starting to slip, I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to I'm going to sexify. Just do my, do a big sexification, get all sexy and stuff. And then I'll be able to eat more. And then Randy's going to take over, Man. and then I'll be like, I'll be leaving the industry at the top of my career uh, after doing all these food challenges, and then I'll transition over to doing the, all the dietitian stuff. So I would, it's just, I would love to see that. I, I, I can't wait. I'd love to see that happen. Um, I'm gonna have to get some gear sorted out, George. You giving us some, some of the steroids so I can compete. And when Randy's looking sexy, I look more sexy. Yeah, I, could, I actually couldn't think of a more poetic way to well, end the no, podcast because I, I know that you guys love doing all the charity stuff with like your music and and all that. Uh, in like three years from now, one of our big charity things is gonna be me in like a, a red like Valentine's Day thong, <laughs> and I'm gonna be on a like California king bed with these sexy sleek white sheets. And then there's going to be a hundred Leonidas bears around. <laughs> and then we're going to do a calendar for charity and all 12 months is going to be the same photo. This isn't a joke. This is real. <laughs> <laughs> I would buy the calendar. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to buy that. The Randy yeah. Bear calendar. Yeah, there you go. Just buy yeah. it. We can wrap it up then. Very Thanks nice for coming up. on, Randy. We hey, really no, appreciate it. No, loved it. And Cheers, I'm, dude. I'm Thank you. I'm excited now that you guys are going to be having Katina on the show too. Yeah, I'm excited too. Exclusive. Well, actually, no, I, I think I feel the same way you did. <laughs> you were very nervous when Miss, when Mrs. Beard get, was on oh, there. Yeah. Exclusives. Yeah. What if what if I'm actually uh, yeah I'm coming tomorrow to make sure that uh, she talks nice about me and doesn't reveal all. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna call the podcast out though. Katina reveals all. Make a note of that. Get that on the clips channel. I'll get some views. Right. Thanks for uh, th- thanks for having us. Thanks for coming. And uh, we'll no, it's it's an honor. I'm happy to be on here. <laughs> Fucking up my outro. <laughs> thanks for coming. Shh. And uh, we'll catch you next time.